Yeah, man, it's a lot of wild shit going on today. You see, how they, you see how these trans? I can't say trans. I hope you' about to say transactions, nigga, or transams. I or was something. about to say trans. <laughs> it's a lot of transams coming out in two thousand fucking twenty, bro. And it, like this. Oh shit. What's that? Bro, Jalen Ramsey just got traded to the fucking Rams, dude. Say it ain't so. Bro, dead ass. They just traded this nigga a couple hours ago. Like, that's too long ago. Like, that nigga legit a Ram now. They call it, they call him, he's starting to call himself Jalen Rams Z. I'm not going to laugh at that. That's what he put. I, I don't put. believe you for, you got his number? Yeah, yeah, I call still him. got his number, call man. Him. Might as well. Ant running a little late. I don't know if he know yet. All right, it let's... breaks my heart. It breaks my heart to know that Jalen got transferred. I mean, uh, traded right now. I know. I want him to come to the table. You and all these trans, you know what I'm saying? Like, all my mind did not take any <laughs> other words. <laughs> man, let's call this nigga up, man. Let's see what he got to say about this. Shad, why you do it to me? What you want, nigga? Uh, he- hello? Is it? Is this is this Fournette? Jalen? What? What I told y'all? I'll just I play. I'll just play. I said I wasn't going to be on this bum ass podcast no more. Whoa, and I'm out of I'm not even in Jacksonville no more. So I don't even know what y'all calling me. I know y'all calling me about the trade. Where are you? Where are you currently, J- uh, Jalen? Jalen, this is your <laughs> biggest fan. Hey, this is your biggest fan, man. I seen you in the pink Camaro. I don't know you. <laughs> you ain't got to know me, nigga. Wait, wait what's that music? Know. What's that music playing in the background? I'm in the club right now. I'm celebrating. You don't hear that? Yeah, that's, that's that whole game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, I hear it. That's the problem. We hear the shit. It's... What you doing? Anyway, what, what the fuck y'all niggas want? Is your Damn. shirt on? Of course not. <laughs> and I got, <laughs> and I got, I just got my nipples pierced. Whoa, you wild since you got to LA. You only, you haven't even. I'm out. How long have you been there? I'm out, baby. How long have you been I'm there? I'm out, baby. <laughs> You've y'all, just. Y'all you, was holding me back in Jacksonville. I'm all the way you out. Say you Jaylen, only, you say you Jaylen, only been you up for two You got the fishnet tank top. Of course. Yeah, you're, you're not Jamaican. Of course. You ain't even Jamaican. I thought on Jamaican niggas were those. What you want, nigga? I, we want to know what's going through your mind right now. Well, clearly, you know what's going through your I mind. I was just getting twerked on. Okay. And you just called me in the middle. Of I, I don't even know why I picked no, it up. I, I don't but think you asked the what, music what was in your mind, not in your lap. Nigga. Yeah, we didn't ask you that at all. At all, Jalen. You good, man? How do you? Is it any like hard feelings towards Jags or no, 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 Pulse? No, no, no. How you feel about the only thing I don't <laughs> only thing that I'ma miss in Jacksonville is my nick I mean my uh my Whoa homies, my, my homies on the Jaguars. Your homies? Fournette. He was st- I mean he was a, a nice Wait, wait, what was, was, was that nice. last part? He was, a, he was a nice young man. No, no, what was that last part? I'ma miss Fournette. Whoa. Okay. Okay, are you gonna miss Doug? Nah, fuck that crap. I mean wow. fuck. Hey, we don't I even mean, Get into racial slurs on this show, man. Uh, I, I do. apologize. I know y'all some bitches, but anyway. Come on, man. Hey, look. Why you so upset? You in a club, there, man? Like I said, I'm your biggest fan. I'm not, but outside of the gay shit, now you know. But I have mean? to. I have to do these. I never heard damn. you on a podcast before. What's your name? This nigga trying to spit game. It don't matter. This nigga spit game to Joe. Abort mission, Joe. Joe, abort mission. I never. I don't know. I never heard you before. Joe. I never heard you before. Abort mission. What's, oh, his name Joe? No. What, what, Russell. This his name is Russell. Nigga. His name is hey, Russell. What's your IG? <laughs> At Russell. <laughs> Main of your 24. <laughs> Devin will now be Hold handling. On. Hold on. What, 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 what's, what's, Joe, what's Joe IG? Uh, what is it? His phone dead. At this nigga don't exist. He, oh, he did. You said Russell Main in 24? Yeah. Are oh, you talking about this light skin nigga? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. That's Joe. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's anyway. not. No, it is not. What's up, hey, sir? Shout out to you. Uh, <laughs> Wait, anyway, I'm in LA right now. We, Jay, we partying. Man, you got a we partying it up right now. Man. You out there with Fowler? I y'all see you out there wilding. Hey, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, um, since we had some hard times with the uh, whatever y'all bum ass podcast called. Wow. I don't forgot the name of the shit. I don't even know Real why I answered what y'all called. You know the shit. You literally talked to us like three times. Jay, that's a podcast, too. Anyway. Hey, did you take the pink Camaro? Yeah, I took the, it's getting shipped out right now. 
Got it on the U-Haul. Got, got the pink Camaro and the pink um, H3 Hummer. All those on the way. Why do you have an H3 Hummer? I'm in LA. Hummer? That's very. You were thinking in LA you wouldn't have that. It's like. It's, it's, did it's you skip onto the field right when they when you, when you got out there? Oh, y'all got it. Y'all got to see my entrance. Oh, I'd rather we didn't. I'd rather we didn't. <laughs> I just hit up Sam. This a this a random X podcast exclusive. Oh, I now hit, you know the name. I hit up Sam right. Smith. I hit up. <laughs> I hit up. <laughs> I hit up Sam Smith, and he's gonna do my entrance for me. Who it's else gonna be got? fabulous. I tried to get Elton John, but he won a um, $75,000 down payment, and his Rams haven't paid me yet, so true, true, all true. he do is get Sam Smith, okay. he's going to do the entrance. Got skinny Sam fabulous. Smith, too. You didn't even get but, fat one. But whatever I but what I was trying to say before you fuck niggas was trying to uh, interrupt me, Jesus. I want to bury the hatchet with Random Max of Podcast. Ooh, I'm going to okay. give it. Um, I want to I wanna apologize. I was rude to you guys at times. A lot of the time, really. I was rude to you guys. I'm very sorry. So you had a bum I get sassy. Podcast. I get sassy. I'm a bad bitch. Uh, I'm a bad bitch. Uh, that's how you. That's how you like to be referred to. Yes, I'm a bad bitch. No, you can't say it, but I can say it. You can't myself. call you a bad bitch. But like I said, I want to apologize. It's my last time on this. Uh, I won't call y'all bum because I'm a very. I'm gonna be nice to y'all. We can't call you. We can't call you from time to time to see how you doing. I'd rather we didn't. I really don't want to. I probably have something. In my, I mean, I probably have. <laughs> Whoa! I'll probably be occupied. What, what, the, what the fuck? Out here in West LA. West Hollywood. West yeah, LA? West Hollywood. Near Porn Valley? Yeah. Wow. And now I got a stripper out here. We're going to have a good time. What kind of yeah, stripper? I didn't even congratulate. I just had another baby. Uh, Anyway, but aren't you? What else y'all want, man? I need to get back in the club. Aren't you with somebody? Right I need now? to get back in the club. You should be able to have another baby if you. You can't de-weight that situation, bro. What else y'all niggas want? I'm about to go back inside. The Do club. you think y'all going back to the I Super Bowl? I want you to go back to the Jags. Yeah, we're going to I the think Super it's Bowl. Like that. And we, yeah, I'm going to the Super, and we're going to win that bitch. And we gonna win that bitch. Seriously, this time? Yeah, this, this time we gonna win that. It bitch. doesn't really have that much effect this time because you know the hype is And we gonna win that bitch. Yeah. I tried to get Lil Uzi out. He went answer my phone. I think he got me blocked. I wonder why. I really do. Um, it was that one time we played in played the Eagles, but um, he got me blocked. You said you had a pajama party. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you niggas were wearing ones. But anyway, what y'all? Y'all got Who some last pillow? Y'all got some last words for me? Cause it's the last. Nah, time. I don't. I'm glad you're not in that division no more. That's about it. I'm glad you ain't in our locker rooms no more. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I sound like some haters. I don't, I don't hate you, Jay. I'm out. Oh, okay. I hate interviewing that guy, man. I hate interviewing him. I'm so Where glad I'm the last one. I don't, I don't know. know. This nigga been hyping me up to talk to Jalen Ramsey for months. Nigga. I told you that nigga was an asshole, bro. Like, that's nigga how he always like, is. Man, Every interview. Wait until <laughs> you talk that uh, motherfucking Jalen Ramsey and shit. But, yeah, you heard it first. Our Random Acts of Podcast exclusive. We talked to Jalen Ramsey. You know, we we, we, we told him. Right know, after the trade. I mean, I don't even like the nigga attitude. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he's a homo. Uh, but <laughs> here we are. And um, I don't think Amp would approve of... Uh, well, you ain't well, say the F. Well, word. this is on Patreon, so it don't matter. Damn. So, yeah. so I done drank all this nigga crying. I guess that's what it is. Jalen Ramsey to the Rams, man.
Nobody. Ryan Tannehill. Paul, Ryan, Paul Smith. Ryan Tannehill, y'all Paul, quarterback. Paul bro. So Smith. Shit, bro. Paul Smith. Anyway, man, episode 261, Random X, a motherfucking podcast. Sound I'm, upset. I'm strapped in, bro. I'm strapped in. Sound I'm, upset. I'm tired of these niggas, man. You okay? I'm, I'm good, man. I'm good, man. 261, Random X, a bandana? motherfucking podcast, man. Who? <laughs> Devin, Devin, I want I, I want to get your advice. All right? Okay. So like, if I had to put anybody in the torture rack next, who would you suggest? Shad Khan, Del Marone, or like, like where, where, where do we where do we draw the line? Where do we go? Where do we start? Well, Del Marone, I know he say nigga. So you might want to get that proof right first. Nah, but you remember he used to beat up guys in Brooklyn with his family. He's a brawler. Mm. That's what they said on Twitter. So I'm gotta go about that. That's what's up, man. I got on the Allen Iverson do rag. If anybody can't see it, man, I'm trying to get the wave. Oh, you got the wave? Yeah, you don't man. take care of your kids either. That's a perfect match. That nigga take care of his kids. Bro. Yeah, man. You don't. You don't. Yeah, 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 you don't. That nigga take care of his kids, man. You don't. Look at you. You trying to just tear down a black man. I'm just, not trying to. Not if it's facts. Joe, get this nigga out of here. Joe, get this nigga, man. Hey, you, you got. You got. Do you value this table. I can always get another table, though. Do you feel like it's facts? Devin. You're asking for it. <laughs> You're asking for it already. Go see your son. Devin, we're going to give you three strikes tonight. All right. Go see your son, El. That was two right there. Yeah, I was going to say, he's already <laughs> old. Than one. That was two strikes. <laughs> Go see, go see your son, man. Yeah. All right, bro. That was, <laughs> when it was two sixty one random at the podcast, man. Yeah, today's a sad day in, in Duval County. We're really. we gonna get to that, man. We're gonna it. get to that, man. Can we be serious for like <coughs> twenty to thirty minutes, bro? No. Before we get si- no, I am serious. Hmm. I might slap Devin tonight. It'd be the last nigga you slap. You definitely die tonight. Oh, I'm about it. That's I'm about it. it. You about yeah. to, you about to I die? I was bumping, ready to die. You know, you, you about to get in toe tag. <laughs> Bet. I'm about I'm about it. Easy for me. I, 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 hey, Leon, go to tap up his toe tag. You know, I used to pick up bodies. Bitch ass nigga, Joe. So I know what that shit like. You know what I'm saying? That's a smooth <laughs> ride. Nigga, yeah, they used to you know, shit I'm shocked like, you haven't talked about that. Yeah, they used to on this podcast. Damn, bro. I haven't talked. Yeah, about nigga, they used to that. shit on you like I'm about to do. Yeah, they used to shit on him like I'm about to do. You know what? Go ahead. And, yep. Let's let's Why? Be, <laughs> what's wrong with you? That's his body. Being a bitch like usual, man. That's what body do. He amp is in his feelings because his favorite corner queer back love. I mean cornerback love. Man, it's hey. okay. Go ahead and talk, Your jazz opinion. fans. Go ahead and talk, jazz fans. Don't talk about my team. Talk about y'all. This is what it's about. I'm not talking about the Jaguars. If you shut the fuck up, I can set the shit up. All right, let's be serious for about twenty about to thirty minutes, man. All right, let's talk about last week. Mm-hmm. The situation with this other podcast. Let's let's address everything. All right, let's put everything out. Right. Actually, we can't put everything out because, like, this shit deeper Some than, shit, this yeah, shit deeper than say, rap. Some shit happened behind the scenes. No pun. So. It's, it's, it's deeper than rap. All right. So, um, shout out to all the fans, all the listeners. Everybody. All the supporters, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Shout out us. to the people that was in the nigga inboxes. Because yeah. I was quiet on, I mean, y'all know I be quiet on Twitter. I ain't never on that. But yeah. I was, you know, I be lurking. Yeah. But uh, I seen everybody showing wild support. You know what I'm saying? Like. Everybody uh, got their hand in on it, so it was definitely a good effort. Yeah. All right, so um, shout out to I'm Velvet Jones. I'm trying to get this shit up. My um, my notes didn't update. I'm gonna have to pull it from my phone. Uh, bear with me. All right, so yeah, this shit's not gonna update. All right, so I gotta pull it from my phone. All right, so shout out to I'm Velvet Jones. He hit me up. I'm pretty sure he was the first person to hit me up and said, "Hey." Look at these niggas stealing. <laughs> so I'm like, people steal from us all the time. We do shit all the time. Niggas steal from us and whatnot. Right. It happens with the game, man. But this is like the most abrasive stealing I've ever seen in my life. Damn, so I look at this shit. Shut your I look at this shit and it says random acts of podcasting. So apparently, I never heard of this nigga. He got a verified check. I'm not gonna. Right. I'm not gonna say bro name. So he started him and his chick. They started a podcast called Random Acts of Podcasting. So I hop on IG. Can we read the tweet? Because I felt like the the introduction <clears throat> to it even was even corny. Okay, he said I have a podcast. <laughs> I have a co-host on my podcast. Her name is Angela. I shouldn't even. I'm not even gonna say any names. Her name is Blankety Blank. I guess that means we have a podcast. The name of our podcast is called Random Acts of Podcasting or R A P. 
the first episode is out, and we are on all platforms. Now, I was sick to my damn stomach when I write that abbreviation. All right, so, all right, when I seen the abbreviation, I was I was alarmed because we call this shit R.E.O.P. We don't say random acts of podcast all the time. Right. We call this shit R.E.O.P. So you already abbreviating your shit calling it <laughs> R.A.P. That's that's just like some, that's a red flag the right there. The unseasoned version. R.E.O. podcasting. <clears throat> now, let me talk you, let me tell y'all niggas from the business side of this, dog. When you do, when you start content and shit, different shit like that, you're supposed to Google mm-hmm. to make sure. Just do a simple Google search just to make sure <clears throat> nobody else is doing it. Nobody else has that name. That name. That's yeah. that's like always the first thing. It doesn't matter what you're doing. Like yeah. The first thing is usually let me check to see if anyone else has this. Yeah, that's just like, especially this nigga got a verified check. I hit him up. He said he work in TV. If you work in TV, you should know that like. You gotta fact. You gotta check. fact check this shit. HBO and, did it. And said fuck us. We got money. Now let's let, let me bring up the random acts of flying this shit real quick. And this doesn't this doesn't hurt as much as the random acts of fly this shit. All right, so the, so this podcast, random acts of podcast, is based off a a blog I used to have when I was twenty one years old called Random Acts of Flyness. When I had that vlog a blog or whatever. I was 21. I didn't have no job. So, of course, I couldn't trademark shit. So, none of that shit was ever trademarked. It was just, it just it is what it is. Like, it and was I got, just fucking hilarious. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> it was just a post of music, post <coughs> stories. We did concerts off that, off the name of that vlog. We did Alone, South, yeah. Yeah, we did New York shows. We did South by Southwest shows off that, off the name of that vlog. And then, bruh, I, I don't know bro name. Um, he took the name. Fuck, nigga. He made an HBO show. <laughs> but it wasn't copyrighted, so it is what it is. That's just what happened in life. Now, this right here is another situation. So let me let me take it back for when that random acts of flying this shit came out. When that shit came out, I could have legit sued them, but I didn't have nothing trademarked. So I said, I told myself, I'm going to trademark everything, so if shit like this happens again, Right. I could pull out the paperwork. So that day when I heard, found out, or well, that week or month, whatever, when I heard about the Random Acts of Flying and shit, I copyrighted Random Acts of Podcast, I copyrighted REOP Studios, and I copyrighted REO Podcast. So all that shit is copyrighted. Nobody can steal that shit. We <coughs> might need it. We what Missy Elliott said? Copy written, don't copy me. Shit, we gonna that was like one of her hardest yeah. lines to me. We just gonna start copywriting the word random now. Fuck it. Get paid off uh, that word, nigga. Shit. Uh, what's her name? Paris Hilton. Copyrighted. Copyright. Had. That's hot copyright. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so oh, Meg shit. just copyrighted. it. Pretty much in that. If you're influencing, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Words, Cardi, nigga. she copyrighted. Um, whatever she be saying. Whatever that bullshit. She made that bird. That bird oh, shirt. Kurt. Yeah, oh, Kurt. Yeah, that. She copyrighted wow. that. Meg copyrighted Hot Girl Summer. Damn. That's what niggas do when you when you do shit. You copyright it. You get the LLC for it, and it's just not cheap. Then you get something copyrighted, Joe. Yeah, I did. That shit's not cheap at all. It's it not. costs a pretty penny. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to. And it sucks that I put that money in the shit, and then niggas just stealing anyway. Right. So, dude. First of all, this is um. First of all, this is a red flag right here because he. I had to hit him up first, and then he was blocking niggas. He didn't block me at all. He blocked everybody else that was in his Nigga, mentions. follow me. I was Everyone. confused. He, yeah. follow, he followed me, and I was like, nigga, I, I ain't been doing nothing but re- retweeted the, he followed the, the words. You, he followed like, you because he probably looked at the, this, at the bio and seen your name, and he was like, oh, this one of the niggas from the show, so let me follow him to nah, it didn't work. get in front of things. So I had to hit this nigga. We chopped it up and whatnot, and um, we supposed to be working something out. But still, as of this week, the nigga still haven't changed the name. So still. when you don't change the name, I have to, I have to be a white. I have to be a Republican about this shit. Mm-hmm. Well, we could be a nigga about this shit up. and just go find him. You got, you got <laughs> your choice. I, your I choice. I want to bring lawyers in this shit, but it's, it's deeper than podcast right now. When you got. Shit trademark and niggas steal this <coughs> shit, but I'm gonna let y'all talk about it. I'm done talking. Um, I'm gonna leave it at that. 
Well, my thing is this. I mean, you know, it's not like this is a new podcast. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, five this years. Been, yeah, five years yeah. next month. Or so, December. You know, you think about the development of it, the cultivation and such, and not just it. Every little coincidence about it is like, okay, you didn't just so happen to come up with this. You yeah, know when I mean? you searched. What you somebody, thought was. I was sent the video from several people where he was showing his he was shit. showing his listeners like how to look for the podcast. And on Apple Podcasts, when you type the name in, previous podcasts type up, came up. So, Random Acts of Podcasts was coming in while he was typing. It had to, He was to, to type in the ING. So, <laughs> the to. thing where he said he don't <laughs> see it is a lie because, nigga, we've, we're we on 261. We got live yeah. shows. We got merchandise. We've been on. We've been featured in magazines and shit. So, when you put your when you put random ass hey, podcast, a lot of a lot of shit come in, bro. Like we've been doing this shit a while. You made bro. Clifton Powell cry, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> we got we got loyal fans. Yeah, very for loyal sure. fans. For sure, for very sure. loyal fans. Especially that shit made me feel up. that shit made yeah. me feel good. All, all yeah, that's why I retweeted that shit all made of them, bro. Feel really I had good. To. I was like, that shout y'all, out to his fans. That y'all, that y'all Went in and supported, like y'all went in. Went out the way, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I really, I really appreciate. I can't even say put that shit in words how much I appreciate that. Cause legit, that is something that you know you could see and and easily bypass. You know what I mean? To say like, I fuck with these niggas, but hey, I'ma just keep my profile, my profile, or whatever the case. You know what I'm saying? Keep it clean, yada yada. But for everybody to really, you know, make they 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 presence felt. Yeah. That, that, that said a lot. But to me, you know, the, the, the big thing was um, you got all of these coincidences that, okay, the acronym, the the same name and such, and then you have so many people that are saying, hey, before you do the, your first episode or now that you got your first episode out, let me address the fact that you're cop- I mean, you're stealing something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> The, the the response to it was just, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, have you looked at his content on a... Uh, what you mean? Like, what the show is actually, like, have you it's, seen one of the All shows? right, so it's a Cleveland, it's supposed to be like a Cleveland sports show. That has nothing to do that with it. That has nothing to, why didn't you give he, it a sports name? He said his name after, like, his non-profit, which is... Um, Random which was it, yeah, like random acts of kindness, which is an original name. That's, that's still just, that's not original. He stole that shit too. Yeah, so <laughs> so yeah, that's not really original name. That's not what that's and not this, this and, it, and this is based off of random acts of flyness, which was made eleven years ago. So, I draw so much my shit, my shit go further back than his shit. So, uh, um, what you what you got to say about it, Devin? I'm about to wrap this up, man. I, oh, so real quick, man. He need a new co-host because she didn't help this nigga out at all. Yeah, she did, bro. We she let that bro. nigga out. She, she was bro. dodging yeah. that shit, little Kim in that shit. You yeah, know she what let man? she <laughs> let that nigga do all she all let the fed into the wolves, bro. She's <laughs> like fuck that shit. She, I don't know what he talking about. Hey, but you know, she ain't even in the media no more. Nigga career, so yeah, she ain't even she ain't even on the picture no more, bro. She she. To make them edit the pill out the picture. <laughs> like, that's real shit. Like you forget me soon I'm too. To, I'm about to go in. What you got? What you, De- Devin? What you got to say, man? I got some. I'm about to go in, bro. Actually, I might need some background music. It started <laughs> off. It started off small. Niggas started stealing our brackets. Matter Remember fact, that? What, what What's your go to? Now it's this record right now. I don't know, man. I ain't gonna do no background. I'm just gonna go in on this bitch, man. Can I give you a background song? <sighs> what? Give me the. Uh, Give me two seconds. All right, nigga. So I'm about to go in on this bitch, man. All right, so I had, so after the situation, I chopped it up with bro. E, granted, I had to hit this nigga up first. What is this nigga about to play, bro? You go ahead. All right, so I had to chop it up with bro. And so after he tweeted out, let me uh, retweet what he, let me uh, say what he tweeted. He said, Sorry for the name confusion. Was completely unaware we came up with the we came up with a podcast name after play off my nonprofit and movement we started seven years ago. But glad we talked about it, worked it out, and look forward to working. I don't want to work with him. Work together. I'm not working with him. You uh, work with him. You know what work means. 
Don't, yeah. Don't sue, don't sue me. me. Yeah. <laughs> That's how they do it, bro. All right. So I'm about, got a I'm about to go on on this fat ass white bitch real quick, man. Oh, okay. So after he apologized, bro, this fat, ugly, white, pterodactyl looking bitch. Come on. She hopped on this shit talking about something. This is what this dumbass white bitch tweeted. What she's that white bitch? 52 tweet? and she's white. Damn. Fuck that bitch. That's the worst type of white bitch. Look at this ugly ass bitch, man. I had to see Whoa. That. This bitch like the baby off dinosaurs. Fuck oh. this dumb ass bitch, man. She tweets, no offense to the podcast, but they joined Twitter in 2009, which isn't a lot. Which is a lie because what? this podcast didn't start in 2009. It damn sure did. I, quit, I made that Twitter account in 2009 as like a. Actually, you know what I made this that random ass podcast Twitter account for to promote a day to worship. I remember uh, that. I do right. remember that. So that's what that account was. I just turned it into a random as a podcast yep. because the days of worship already had came out. Yep. But it don't so, matter because that bit dumb, bro. All right. So she said, join in 2009. I think I have more followers. Their podcast can't be breaking any barriers. Oh. Break this dick off in your mouth. All right. First of all, you, <laughs> you, you old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for it, bro. First of all, you, you old dumbass white bitch. Come on. First of all, you shouldn't be in some young nigga shit anyway. Come on. Some young nigga shit. Right. Keep your white ass on the porch. Talking about some these niggas ain't breaking barriers. She got more followers than us. What the nigga, fuck we, they got, it, bro? Yeah, we been in magazines, nigga. I ain't yeah. never seen this bitch in a magazine. We get, six, we get over seven thousand plays a week. She like the Gerber baby. We got a nice following on Patreon. We got over a thousand subscribers on both of our YouTube channels. Come on. OnlyFans videos. Definitely only fan review videos. Oh, 3,000 plays a video. Woo. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. We, we, not. Done, we done live shows. You we done retired shows. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Easy does it. You know what I'm saying? Be Simone shot at my nigga. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, shit. I never forget when Marie Love shot at that nigga. Ooh, you know I man? never forget that, that classic bro. Classic there. Never know forget mean? that. So, yeah, so turn that down. I'm just not. I'm done with. I'm done with this. Um, uh, she that was just corny as fuck. She didn't reply, and then when she she did that shit, our listeners swarmed in and told her she a dumbass bitch, bro. Thank you. She had nothing Shout to say. To the listeners, man. So I love you guys. So fuck that dumbass bitch. Dumbass white. I bitch. don't know why. I, if I, any of y'all that, come that shit, through Duval that shit County, trigger, or if you in Duval County, you know what I'm saying. Hit your boy. You know what I'm saying. What what drinks on me downtown if you catch us at yeah. riverside you know what i mean um shit lady i'm gonna stop there but hey you, fuck okay. that white bitch i spit in that bitch <laughs> face i spit in your face Whoa. bitch Ew. don't Ew. fucking try me Ew. with that dumb ass shit Calm i work down. too fucking hard for this shit remember dog. your heart rate I put it up. Oh, you gonna put on the mask? I gotta cool. Yeah. Put, on the, put on the mask, bro. I tried to cool him down. You gotta, him down, you gotta put the problematic mask on, bro. I tried to cool him down, Put the problematic ski on, bro. I tried to cool him down. Random acts of problematic. Random acts of problematic, bro. Fuck her. Fuck her. Don't talk shit about us, bitch. Don't fucking talk shit about us, nigga. Dude. We work too hard on this shit, bro. Hope she listen to the episode, bitch. We work too fucking hard. I feel like that was necessary right there. It was. Some people, that nigga said, some people got the real price. He was going in on that. He was talking about her ass. <laughs> hey, this nigga hey, was you saying, got the real problem. This nigga was saying hard for racism. If you think it's only in the in the followers, you must not see influence. <laughs> Look at this shit. You see, he had to reach out to us. Don't ask my opinion. Y'all, Don't y'all good? They good. They good. But fuck that white bitch, though. Hey, man. Shout out to nigga. Man, my damn. Hey, I do right when it came over. Hope she, hope she dies seasoning her chick. <laughs> nah, I'm lying. She gonna be seasoning her chick. She gonna be seasoning her I was gonna say, she more likely to die eating her chicken. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm gonna send her the I'm gonna send her the audio to that shit, bro. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna uh, pop up the funeral in red suits. That's crazy, man. But um <laughs> once again, man. <laughs> Shout out, Some to the, cold shit. shout out to the supporters. Cold man. shit, bro. <laughs> shout out to the supporters, man. Just shout out to the fans, man. We love y'all so much, bro. Y'all yeah, really, bro. I really fucks with all our fans, Straight man. Straight up. You got some awesome fans, bro. Yeah, man. We man, we work too hard for this shit, man. We come in, we do I feel like it's going to be wild random niggas just hitting me in my DMs like, hey, I'm going to be downtown at Birdie. <laughs> <and> <laughs> it's the wrong niggas. Nigga <laughs> <laughs> 
That nigga Jordy gonna hit you up like, nigga, what am I drinking? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, you on it. Man, fuck you. <laughs> be like, Let me check your tweets, nigga. <laughs> See if you just be tweeting shit. Man. You know what I'm saying? But don't ever come at us again, you fat ass white bitch. And I'm gonna leave it at that, man. Episode 261. Shit, name Red episode podcast, that. Podcast, man. Don't ever come at us again, you fat white bitch. <laughs> you fat ass. What's that? Put an at name in that shit. Hey, man. That'd be crazy. I'm not giving that hoe no Sean, bro. You That's know true. I ain't say no name. That's true. That's true. Well, hey, man, 261, Random Max of Podcast, man. I know, man, we've been talking about the supporters a lot lately, so let's talk about our Patreon supporters, man. Let's go ahead and, you know, it's that time of the show, man. This nigga don't put on his quiet storm voice. Yeah, you, know that shit? you see how calm you know I got? I got calm, man. We must got more ladies on there saying. Must do, bro. Man. Hey, man. Nah, Get that nah. bag. Get the bag. I'm on here now, so yeah. That's probably, yeah, that's it. Shut up! Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm calm now, man. This, so mean. This man. I can't man. tell. We, lo- I can't we love tell. y'all, man. You ready to read the list? You ready to read the list? Amped, amped up. I'm hey, ready, man, I'm bro. calm down, bro. I'm strapped up, man. Hey, man, shout out to all your supporters. Patreon.com slash REO Podcast. We love y'all, man. We got a lot. We got a lot in after you slammed this nigga Devin, bro. I can believe that. You got a lot in, I can in, believe bro. that. You ready hey. for the list, man? You welcome. Hey, oh, go. Oh, whoa. Oh, we got some names that I'm finna say again. Y'all know how I'm coming in. All right. Lewis, Toph, Darius. Then we got Earl. Candace in this thing. I ain't even call you bitch because I know your damn name. <laughs> then we got Ren. Then we got Wayne. Sam, that ain't the same. Then we got John, Jamal, Christian in this thing. Big Tim in this thing. DQ. Then we got, man, DQ, what did that stand for? Only DQ I know is Dairy Queen. Disqualified. That could be a cold ass street name. Could, could be Dick Queen. We don't know if that's a woman right. or not. Then we got Nick, Ugly, <laughs> <laughs> Ugly Man Raj, shout out to you. Alonzo, Shavante, Complex State of Mind. That, that nigga must rap. We got yeah, Jesus, uh, we got Frank, Ron, Joshua, King Joseph, we got Deadstock Dev, Stefan, Jerry, Blue, Marcus, that man Geo. That nigga probably got all the geographical tips for you. Mm-hmm. We got our nigga Rome. And then for one time for my dog, paperwork, Sam, you know what I'm saying? Backwoods off in this thing. We still smoking back. them backwoods. We're going to be smoking these backwoods to about 2027. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of them. Hey, it's a whole bunch it's of these a whole, backwoods. A, a whole heap. We, <laughs> a whole heap of the backwoods, bro. We, we, we appreciate you, my nigga. <laughs> Voice was over oh, you got the core, man. My phone. Oh, nah, how, 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 how you going, I don't man? think I need hey. it. I was just looking for the shit, bro. Um, let's talk about Jalen Ramsey, man. It's a sad day in the Ville, man. Hey, hey, while you was gone, uh-huh. uh, I had Devin call him, man, but I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have did that. I missed another Jalen Ramsey call? You, man, you, you didn't miss much. Mm. You ain't tell me Jalen was like how he is. He like flamboyant. You didn't hear it, nigga? Nigga, we been saying he gave you like mean, three like, episodes. I mean, I, yeah, yeah, but it's you a hear that mixtape? to be on the phone. You didn't hear him, that right? mixtape, nigga? That he made? The mixtape. <laughs> I thought it was unbelievable. <laughs> As in, I don't believe this is Jalen Ramsey. <laughs> hey, man. Anywhere. Our nigga gone, man. I mean. Shout out. Our nigga gone, man. There's got to be like a Phil Collins record or like a... Um... I feel it coming <laughs> in the air. There's got to be... Actually, oh, we no. shouldn't be yeah, saying coming. Yeah, you probably should be saying coming, coming in the air around Jalen Ramsey. But anyway, my nigga got traded. Coming home. anywhere. Right? <laughs> 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 Let's break down the trade. So, our nigga gone. He got traded to the L.A. Rams. That still feel weird saying that. It does. I, I, I told was, you it don't sound saying, right. Oh, like it don't sound. Like you I was actually to gonna do that. the chicken head. You know what I'm saying? Like as you said it, but <laughs> you shot that now you got a crit. Well, shot that nigga Chingy, bro. Yeah. I wonder what Chingy up to, bro. Probably uh, not talk been. about talk about the universe and shit. That nigga still fighting his case. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't him. What case you talking about? With the transmission. Oh okay. Yeah yeah. That nigga that the trans degradable. She got she lied. Trans metal. She yeah, lied yeah, though. Yeah, she she, she out on the news. He lied. His career up because of that shit. He lied. 
You just gotta be ignorant, bro. That's what it is. It's, she lied and yeah. she hopped on the radio Easy. and said that um she was trying to boost her career. Yeah, she was trying to boost her career up. Man. Did it work yeah. for him? No, I didn't. Did, whatever did that? Yeah. How could it, man? <laughs> what, 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 what career you gonna have? All right, so um. Correctional and he, officer. And he said, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what. <laughs> let's talk about it. Let's, let's talk about it, bro. Women. <laughs> I ain't even gonna bash the women, bro. But it was a year where like most women was like correction officers. It was a bro. lot, bro. It was playing a lot. Like, yeah. Them women. It's a hell of a seasonal job. It used to be like uh, really thick women. With that, with, with long that woman will beat you in all. With long dick <laughs> grabbing ass nails, right. bro. I like, knew this one chick. She was shit. like. She uh she quit the job or whatever. She was like, I was like, where you going? She was like, I'm about to be a correction officer. I could see you in a big boss man suit with the nightstick beating it <laughs> or giving up pussy. All the above, that's really. That, but <laughs> that's an application. That's an application. You willing to give up pussy? I, I can see three that. Three months after you get hired? I can, I can see you fucking some inmates. Yeah. yeah. You willing I to give up some pussy three months after you been hired, baby? I can see that. It was, it was, yeah, it was a way, it was an era where like most chicks in Jacksonville, they was either a correction officer, or a bus driver. A registered nurse, a yeah. bus driver. That's yeah. a new one. I didn't meet too did, many yeah, My cousin used to be my bus driver, bro. That shit was My cousin Tracy, she was my bus driver. Nigga, I bet you had to be on your best behavior. Nigga. Nah, nigga, her cause her son was in there. He was acting up. Nigga off just for the hell of it. Like, hey, this your stop, nigga. <laughs> when they went inside of town, uh, t- I'm telling mama. <laughs> your mama owe me money. Oh, tell her to call going. downtown. <laughs> <laughs> File a complaint. All right, so chicks was either a registered nurse. Uh, correction officer, or they was a truck job at Coca Cola or a call center job. Good lord, oh, yeah, that's, call, that's, that's call number one. Call right center, a call center hoes. All you that had to do was different. Pa- I knew niggas that that were parking lot pimp at a call center, yeah. <laughs> like, that's at Convergence, that's that's Convergence, yeah. Like, no I met my baby mama when she was working at Convergence, so yeah, it's true, it's true. Bro. No, bullshit. that's so true. I mean, like, nigga, what do you mean you going to? He was like, man, when them hoes come out, I was on like, a lunch break, right. twelve p.m. Nigga, I was duh bringing her Park, lunch and looking at bitches. Parking lot pimping right. at a call center is hilarious. All right. That's where the hoes be at. That's also very nasty. <laughs> Which part? A nasty act. Which part? <laughs> All of it, nigga. Oh. <laughs> parking lot pimping at a call center. Yeah, that is disgusting. That's a disgusting. Them hoes be twenty one and up. Because you know they gotta feed it. You know they gonna want some rose. I feel you, bro. But they want a rose. I, I don't know. I'm you trying think to that, I'm bro. Judging, bro, man. bitches be in there doing hell, watching chicken. I told you about that time that chick was watching <laughs> watching uh, chicken in a sink at that bit. What? Yeah, she watching. He, she watched. <laughs> this chick hit me up. I was like, yeah, oh, this stupid bitch was watching chicken in the sink. And then I was at like, was it? Center? Yeah, I was like, do y'all have an oven in there? She was like, nah. She it was for her when she went home that night because nobody was gonna put it in the water for. Her. Nah. That's crazy. I'm like, she ain't get fired. She's like, you can't get fired. She a manager. Like, Whoa, <laughs> that is ridiculous. That's ghetto as fuck. What's top? What's top five Duval women jobs? Registered got, nurse, date reg- a dope boy. Registered nurse, date a dope boy. Nah, that, I'm talking that, about that's a real job, real bro. Job. Cause you got to You got to know how to run the books and not snitch I mean, on that nigga. That has been beneficial for many. You know how many dope boys Jackson girlfriends get okay. shot? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's three. Nigga, what? Yeah, okay. I'll they don't come with a bulletproof vest with their arrangement? Nah, because they ain't got no money. All right, I got, oh, this got registered nurse. Uh, you said dope dealer job. I mean, dope dealer girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. Stripper. Stripper. That's Bert, a good one. Bank teller. Oh, yeah, the bank teller will be, maybe five, bro. Yeah. Right there, yeah, the uh, Vi Star right there on Dove. Yeah. It's a lot of I think there. that might be a requirement. So if you work in the banking department, like, let me know. Now, the women over, like, 42, especially white women. Like, white women, if you're over 26, you ugly in the bank. Damn. Like, you ain't, yeah, 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 yeah. You ain't even got to. Yeah, like, you look like that bitch that said we're not breaking. I'm bears. only human. <laughs> I'm only human. No one agrees with you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so put the blame on me. <laughs> All right, what's, what's that? Four? What's number five? Uh, top five Jacksonville women jobs. You already said Burger King manager? <laughs> Popeye's manager? <laughs> and or Popeye's manager? Nah, nah I ain't going to give you that one. So we say call centers. We say registered nurse. Mm. We say... Correction officer. <laughs> Correction <laughs> officer. Drug dealer girlfriend. Drug dealer um, girlfriend. And stripper. That's five. Nah... A stripper would definitely be on there because I've met a lot of women that went through that stripping phase. 
Is that what we gonna call this? The stripping phase? I just wanna strip and make money real quick. I'm 21. No bullshit. I knew a chick out of high school that was like weighing her options. I was like, I knew a chick out of high school that actually did it, and she actually ended up becoming a nursery, so she did it right. All right, so my brother, he dated a chick that became a stripper, right? That sounds fun. All right, but let me tell you about her. She was crazy. So I was probably like 12. We go home to Pensacola to uh, like visit and shit, and my brother, he was still living down there. Everybody gone in the, in the in the crib. All the adults, my older brother gone. The only people there was me and my little brother. You know what I'm saying? And we outside the whole time. The 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 point of it was for us to stay outside until my grandparents got back home. You know what I'm saying? Right. So uh, I go inside like just to get something to drink. I'm thinking this when the PlayStation Two. I want to say the first like. PlayStation 2 came out, you know what I'm saying? First year the PlayStation 2 came out. So I'm like, damn, I'm finna go play the game and shit. I go run in my brother's room, and um, this chick sleep on his bed. Ain't nobody else in the house. That's what you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what the fuck? I try and tiptoe back out of that bitch. I'm like, yo, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what he got going. So, <laughs> so he was fucking that shit. She woke up and was like, yo, is Evan here? Like, nah. Nah, I was just gonna play the game, but I see you sleep, you know what I'm saying? She was like, all right, and went back, right? So my grandfather came home. She was like, hey, I've been waiting on Evan. Is he here? <laughs> my grandfather was me. like, nah, but you need to get the hell out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> Kicking strippers out. She should be used to that. What the guy well, she, shaking her ass, though? Well, yeah. I was gonna say, she ended up like years From later. From that experience? No, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh, you nah. me. <laughs> I was shaking ass. <laughs> I'm saying. Nah, she did all kinds of crazy shit, but uh, she ended up becoming a stripper. Are your people want to go uh, cop that? You know what I'm saying? We'll you know what I'm saying? Um, but she was in a future video and shit. You know what I mean? What? Which one? I I'll show you later. I think it was in the yeah, shit. She was in a shit video. Uh huh. The that, shit. That was future shit. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all remember the future? Run it, run it, fine. Yeah. Pluto. So I was gonna say like shit. her stripping might have paid off for her. You know what yeah. I mean? Like her evolution of of. No, nah, I'm about to say. I'm about to say. Have you ever seen the shit video? Okay, the future shit video. It was just like nothing. That nigga was just driving around in a hearse. Yeah. So I was, I was <laughs> y'all ain't get it. Man. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Man. Yeah, but uh, but I ain't seen the video, so she wasn't in it. That's what you. Well, yeah, let's talk about she probably that. Probably was in the wicked video. There's a lot of bitches in that wicked video. He need to drop the freak hoe video. He do. Yeah. I, don't, I don't care that album came out five years ago. That was right the same time we started Random as a podcast. So that was yeah, a, that was DS too, man. That was a <clears> man. Make the freak hoe video. There's not too many moments in here. Make it. Man. No more like nah. like. Groundbreaking moments. Kanye West, Kanye West started a church. All right, that's it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You right, taking man. that serious? Only way Playboy Cutter got to come out with that lit too. That's be groundbreaking. I can't agree with you. You you don't want to die lit too? No, they could just call it something else. He's supposed to be coming out with a whole Dial lot of red. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Next tape, so we got a whole lot of red. But let's <coughs> talk about Jalen Ramsey. Um, he got traded to the Rams for a first, a couple first round picks, 2020 first round pick and 2021 first round pick, and a fourth round pick from 2021. So, Rams got uh Jalen Ramsey, best running, I mean best cornerback in the league. Jaguars, our defense is still pretty decent without Jalen Ramsey because they yeah. haven't paid it or played in the last two games. So. <laughs> right. We was you was using him wrong anyway because we was running zone and that nigga's yep. a man on man, literally a man on man quarterback. On, you couldn't help yourself. <laughs> I couldn't, you couldn't help, help yourself. Man. He's a man on man cornerback. So we was using we was utilizing utilizing Jalen Ramsey wrong anyway, man. So anyway, he's gone. What's y'all thoughts on that? Uh, it's a sad day. It is a sad day. Not just because of uh, the, the the coverage that he provides. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and he provides us good content over here at REOP. And the uh, morale that he does bring to the team. But he was a ticket seller. You know what I mean? A major factor. Not to say that we don't have those now. You know what I mean? And we, um, we are improving ourselves. But, you know, we had our, we had our times to where uh, – we had no attractions in Jacksonville. Yeah. You know, 
and that went for a stretch. So I was very excited to have Jalen Fournette, you know what I mean, um, you know, even taking it back to Fowler and such, you know. Um, so to see it go, you know, for me it is tough, but, hey, say la vie. Peace out, nigga. She Fuck think, you. Think, um, see you on the other side. I don't give a shit. Fuck that nigga. Great content, sir. Mm-hmm. All right, let's do listening questions. To send us listening questions, email us at mail at com. That's mail at bar. Stop looking at the laptop, bro. All right, stop showing hoes on the laptop. Nigga. Mail at areopodcast.com. That's me. mail at areopodcast.com. This yeah. first question Showing is from Adam Bomber. <laughs> What's good, G? He says, I need y'all opinion on an article I saw. About people on why they shouldn't watch, look at porn. Oh, Shit is hilarious. Also attaches a mean of porn, mean of porn stars. If you had to get, if you had to get, if you had to get rid of one of these porn stars, who would it be, and why you shouldn't watch porn? I mean, who would it be? All right, all right. So he go I know exactly who I'm getting rid of. You didn't even look at the meme yet. <laughs> I just seen. Two of the names. All right, so let's look at this article on why you shouldn't watch porn. I don't agree with it already. Who says yeah. this? Huh? Oh, get your rocks sorry. off, niggas. That's All right, first one. <laughs> Man, that shit got fifteen <laughs> reasons. Damn. All right, if you. <laughs> All right, so apparently, like one is no homo. By the way, yeah, We're fifteen going. reasons, bro. It might, not, have, it might have been that What's that one nigga That's running for a parent That woman ain't giving you pussy You know what I'm saying uh, Julie said it best Like a man I'm gonna beat my meat and Get my fucking nut Yeah He said that What song was that on For sure She gonna get drove in oh, And I'm gonna okay. cut the TV off And go to sleep <laughs> on that hold in Alright The first one is Another addiction cured An addiction is an addiction And always And has always That's the problem One of the biggest addictions Men have and if not the biggest is watching porn. A so, woman wrote this. I'm Some not, angry bitch wrote this. I'm not a. I'm. I'm. I watch porn, but I'm not addicted to it. I think addicted to porn is like when you like, when you got like a secret compartment in your house. Like you hit the wall, you be like, and then it's a porn fl- magazine just start flying out of the damn ceiling. We can't all be perfect, bro. I don't know, bro. Like I just uh, I got, this I, nigga literally just described a bat cave full, yeah, of, full, full of porn. Of, like man, a, like I got the Wesley Snipes poster right here. I just pulled this nigga shade <laughs> nigga and, pull porn, out, and a porn. <laughs> nigga pull out booty. Nigga pull out, imagine, nigga you, pull out booty talk ninety four. Dexter's <laughs> laboratory. This nigga flipping his wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's a that is not that. It bad. It just be a blow up doll, Lacey Duvall <laughs> blow up doll with stains on it. <laughs> what you been doing? <laughs> Hey man, hey that's cinnamon. It's that porn, bro. That's cinnamon. That porn your business. getting me, bro. Yeah, you can definitely. That's what tell I think that. when they addicted to porn. No, I think I think addicted to porn is watching porn at your at your great grandma funeral. That's being addicted to that's porn. That's addicted like, to you, porn. Everybody crying, nigga. You watch it. Uh, nah, I'm gonna tell y'all addicted cloud. to porn, and I think y'all can agree with me on this. Addicted to porn is watching porn in uncomfortable settings. Yeah. I was about to bring that up. Like, uh, example, when the niggas had the flat screens in the car and they was watching porn driving around. Yeah, I, y'all you are addicted to porn. The hip hop bailout plan. Yeah. A oh bit. yeah. Okay, I remember. Did I thought you were talking about. A nigga. <laughs> there was the nigga. The nigga. They studio was watching, watching porn. porn. And when <laughs> when I came out the booth, we realized that he was watching porn because when we asked him to stop the 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 recording. It's like, yo, why you so distracted? And I happened to be behind him. I was like, yo, you watching porn? <laughs> like, why are you watching porn? You need it's to a get room inspired. Full of niggas. I wasn't there. I, I would have remembered this. Nah, you need to get inspired, be, bro. Yeah, that's that Hollywood. Wow. That's yeah. just that's how niggas got different ways to get inspired. I think that was like the only song we ever recorded. <laughs> the man, don't. The man watching porn? What, which one was he watching? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, that is, nigga don't give a fuck. Yeah, because everybody music. don't watch the same porn. Watch his porn, bro. I don't, know. I don't know, man. If we doing a podcast and a new and um Jada Jayla Fox come out of retirement, yeah. I might pull it up while we record. I wouldn't mind. I, respect I might pull that. it up. Bro. I, I mean, that. like, that's a little different. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I'm she gonna come check out. it. Check this out. You know what I'm saying? This this hot on the streets. Yeah, like Jayla <laughs> Jayla Fox coming out of that's like CM Punk coming out of retirement. Yeah. Like, I gotta see his if CM Punk come out of retirement while we while we doing this podcast, I'm watching the match. Yeah. This right now, I'm watching the shit. So she come out of retirement, I'm gonna watch it. And I'll be like, hey, 
y'all please excuse me. No, nah, you ain't got to explain yourself. To see it. We'll get it. It's Jayla Fox. Yeah. I was so saddened by uh, Melrose Fox return. Like, she just didn't look as good as... Uh, Why did she make her... She looked better than me. Why did she make really? her Instagram private, though? Like, like she's just going to be talking to everybody? Because when she added me, I nah, was they like, be, what the fuck? They be deleting them uh, porn stars. That's why. So that's why they got to keep their shit private, man. Mm-hmm. All right, next one is. I mean, I still it. love. She Mel can still Rose. get that shit. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say I still love. Hey, Melrose, you ever hit this? You know what I'm saying? I don't think she like niggas. What? What you mean? She ain't fucking that but nigga. She right. like, I'm niggas. talking about that was, that was for money. She don't like him in real life, bro. Nigga, what are you talking? Yeah, about? you don't look at. Yeah, you don't look at Instagram. She be with nothing Instagram, but. Bro. She be with nothing but niggas. Shut up. I give you ten dollars if you pull, like pull me, show me. No mind. Man, read play. the second damn. Number, All right, next dude. one. It says two dollars. Be believing the titles and shit. <laughs> white one. Wo- our black woman loves white. <laughs> oh, cock. That nigga, that she that do niggas, be loving. Oh, niggas. she hates niggas. She do. That nigga, it's real to me. Damn it. It is. Hey, she did just do a the whole video point of like it. a she, uh, 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 Confederate flag T-shirt. That was. She didn't do that. Yes, she did. Mel Rose is in Go look. Yes, go look at it. You have obviously you don't watch porn enough, nigga. All that black women do that when disturbing. they about to lead the game. I, I, I refuse to watch that clip. They either do a ghetto gaggers <laughs> video or they do a racial porn video <laughs> when they lead the game. <laughs> Are you about to apologize, hey, everybody? You want to switch seat? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you, see how, you see how aggressive that thing was? Joe about to get tortured. <laughs> <right. laughs> Fuck! Nigga, I'm mad tonight, y'all. Hey, man, you should have told me that, dog. Hey, bro, I'm pissed. <laughs> Bro, that shit, hey, the first Not time the queen, I seen bro. it, I was like, no, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Man, I remember Lacey Duvall. No shit. bullshit. I paused it and I had a soliloquy. <laughs> I was like, Damn, hey, man. black women don't degrade. The- I see you selling your pussy, woman. Nigga was like, but you ain't got to wear that shirt. That dick crack. Uh, nigga, bitch. Nigga, bitch. That's all they kept saying. I she got paid though. That's, anyways, nah, that's, she got paid. Them, them Confederate flag ones, and when they did the ghetto gaggers, ghetto gaggers was I, insane. I looked at them in different lights after that. <laughs> I, after I finished fapping, I was this like, shit, "Damn, this is crazy." You, you nah, a different. I don't even watch the clips. You a different kind of start. nigga if you fapped the ghetto gaggers. Yeah, hey, 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 listeners. If you beat your meat the ghetto gaggers, <laughs> yeah, stop, this podcast is yeah. for you. <laughs> yeah, actually, it is. Y'all listen to the... Um, Y'all listen to Da Vinci's Demon. Yeah, go listen to Oh, Vinci yeah, Code, yeah, Vinci okay. Code. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, so come on over. Code. We bring, back, we bring back the Da Vinci Code for y'all niggas. I brace... Random Acts of Pod... <laughs> go to Random Acts of Podcasting. That's what, that's for y'all yeah. niggas. I bring some go, go to rap, nigga. Go to rap. <laughs> I bring some... <laughs> that is what they call <laughs> rap. Go over ain't, there. Ain't no bar. We got bars on here. Joe rapping on here. You know go, to, go to the rap when we talk about basketball. It's a sports podcast but for some reason. Right some yeah, it doesn't <laughs> go with shit. Hey, just call it. Just call that shit. Cleveland sports is fucking garbage. Yes, it is. I yeah. tell you what, like, Le- what Le- team LeBron is LeBron left me. The podcast. Name that shit that, bro. Number two. Damn, I got a big watching ass porn. Blunt, bro. Watching porn causes depression. Pray through it. Double it up. Nigga. Who's depressed? That's the whole point. I, reason why Same I watch time. porn because I'm depressed. All right, it causes wild, depression. Right? Yeah. What I the? No, I, I can't it. get read read it read. I want to hey read the shit up on there. I guess I that's hear this. For, uh, All right, it say much like sugar, much like with the sugar addiction, watching porn releases dopamine into our brains and provides and produces the feeling of pleasure. Keep watching it regularly, and you'll need to watch more to gain the same amount of pleasure as you first experienced. When you're not watching as much as you your brain is used to. You experience withdrawals. That's called horniness. That sounds confusing. Man, I, I think that kind of made called, me want to watch more. That's porn. called being hazardously. Sound horny. like I'm not doing porn right. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I just beat my meat and be, be disgusted. Only time about hey, hey, what number is uh beating your meat and being disgusted with yourself? What number is right. that? After <laughs> post nut clarity, like it, it might be called, it might be called depression. Bro. This ain't me. This is not who I am. <laughs> You're better than this. <laughs> This is true, one. This is a true one. What? Right here. What, man? Porn destroys your productivity. Nah, nah that's bullshit. Because that. I watch porn in my disc. Nah, I give it that. Because I works. say this, hey, when it's time to go, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm shutting down anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me lock in. Let me give you a, a prime example. Get a, get a glimpse of porn first, bro. Let me give you a prime example. And this, this is... That y'all gonna have to call the FBI on me. Oh, okay. I was, I was, uh, this nigga about to tell us. Don't tell us about that shit. 
Come on, bro. Don't do that. I'm, I'm, <laughs> no, joking. all jokes aside, don't do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, so I was watching. I was I was um editing your OnlyFans shit, and I was it was the Simone Riches one. Okay. And I was She's like, a freak. and I went to go. I said I went to go study her shit, and I was and next thing you know, like an hour passed, and I was like, nigga. You didn't really. I just I, I should be done editing this video, but I just looked at Simone Rich's whole catalog. I'm gonna tell you, yeah, you get sucked in, bro. I'm gonna tell you when I realized porn ruins your productivity. Yeah, I was going, you know what I'm saying. I finished up, and right before I went to wash my hands, I stopped. <laughs> at the, I stopped at the clip. I said, "Damn." I might have to see how she finished this. Like you went back in, it go, it be that way sometimes, bro. <coughs> can you make? Can you make that many times? I was late picking up my son because I was watching porn, bro, from daycare. Dude, what? That is that dude mess. You right? That dude mess up your productivity. Bro. I agree with that. Because I've been late as bro. I've been damn near five minutes before the daycare close to go make up my son hey, because I got to go watch porn. Right, my kid didn't call DCPS. All right, um, DCL. Next one, number four, it can lead to sexual dysfunction. All right, next. Because the whole, it is, whatever. Next. All right, next one. You'll start to hate your body. Next. next. I only hate my body when I got nut on it. That sounds weird. Like, what'd you see? What'd you see a Did nigga? Did you hear him? Next. What'd he say? <laughs> <laughs> What did you say, bro? I did not hear this nigga. It wasn't laughable. It wasn't even funny. That nigga, yeah, it was a very like gay moment. <laughs> it wasn't gay. It's Repeat biology. Yourself. What? Repeat yourself. I said when I watch porn, I close the computer after I'm done no, and no, go no, to no. sleep. What was before that? What was number five? What was number five? You hate yourself. He took the licks down. You hate yourself. Yeah. When you watch porn. Yeah, I do because I'm thinking about my ancestors. Nah, watch me while I'm watching. No, you hate your body. You hate your body. Ghetto gaggers. Oh, nigga say the only time he ate his body is when he got nut on him. <laughs> that seemed like a valid reason to me though. Yeah, nigga, we know you yeah. like me. No, we know. Prove it. Are we shaming now? We didn't know we were shaming those people. Might as well go and play the future clip. Hey, right. bro, we got you on the show. Number six is they made those people. Them yo's people. Let me All right, number six is porn causes us to stop appreciating people. That's nice. fine. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> they should be. I agree with that. Yeah, like we wouldn't be porn if people was appreciated. Right. I, I don't. Yeah, I can appreciate be... a nice set of titties and ass. Yeah, but you be watching porn mostly. You looking at your girl, you like, damn, why your ass ain't fat like her? Yeah, yeah like Roxy. <laughs> why your shit don't jig like Roxy Reynolds? Like, she's like, what the? Because she ain't buy that shit. But yeah, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> your, your girl, your girl at the dinner table crying like. <laughs> Stuff and big hey, hey, bitch, <laughs> hey, bitch, why your titties ain't big like hers? <laughs> then, you go get, then you go get her ass stuffed with uh, biscuit jelly like Ari. <laughs> hey, bro, Ari got top three. You know Ari is, right? I, I, I just recently got hip. Yeah. Hey, she got top two asses. And she, ain't, <laughs> she ain't two, nigga. Damn. Ain't, Better than that two. other bitch. I ain't gonna argue. Better than that horse bitch y'all be, y'all be praising. He just The stallion. That's a male horse too, by the way, you dumbasses. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> you calm down, nigga. I'm talking to the viewers. <laughs> we, come you on, know bro. all about this them stallions. <laughs> just letting niggas know, niggas be forgetting. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a male horse, you dumb bitches. Like, bro, they know that, bro. <laughs> no, they don't. Some niggas legit didn't know that. <laughs> I think she's aware she's calling herself a male horse. That's what you call your bitch. <laughs> huh? Say it again. I said I think she's aware she's calling herself a male horse. I don't horse. think she's aware, bro. She's college, edu- college educated. I think she's saying that she's thick like a horse. All right. So. <laughs> next. All right. Next one is it destroys your self confidence. That's pretty much like it makes you hate your body, right? Right. Because you're not, because not, because b- bitches don't bang you at car washes in real life, bro. Yeah. Or arrest you then. If you. you ain't got game, that is. You got fucked in a car wash, Joe? Yeah. That's very unsanitary. <laughs> nah. I ain't got fucked in a car wash. I don't. That's not sanitary as fuck, bro. No many. I mean, nah. I I know I ain't got fuck like not not like sexual, like dick and pussy. Can we say that? Yeah, nigga. Yeah, what you just (laughs) said? Far worse. (coughs) Nobody said that, so chill out. Oh, all right. um, Every time. (laughs) (laughs) What else? Your wallet might start. Next. Wait, no. I want to hear that one. That's funny. Your wallet might start. Most online part now. 
All right, I got it. All right, most porn <laughs> online porn nowadays is free unless you truly are addicted and want to start watching all premium productions. Like if that's the case, then your wallet is going to start looking a little thin. <laughs> they make it pretty easy for you to get all hooked as well. Ads all over the place, free trials, you name it. Your wallet is a lot better off without porn. Hey, I work hard for that damn money. I ain't Kirk Franklin. Mm. Yeah, he was watching religious porn, so mm-hmm. his, his kind of don't count. But I mean, I he, was, he that, had a, a quite a bit of porn. If you know, I wanna, it ain't coming in. If I want to watch these, if I want to watch the these Lord OnlyFans, ain't drop it off. If I want to watch these OnlyFans hoes, I'm gonna pay to watch them because some most of them be bad as fuck. I can understand. <laughs> the only, I can understand the OnlyFans, but all right. So if you out here. Getting a Bang Bros premium membership, oh, yeah, yeah. You, you might be wilding. addicted to porn because that shit you like wilding. forty to something dollars a month. You it. might be not addicted. just that. You wait a month or two and that shit on Pornhub and and damn. Nah, <laughs> I know I be mad Spank every damn bang. month, bro. Nah, you make wait two days, nigga. Every damn month. Straight if you paying for porn, if you paying for Bang Bros and Brazzers and all that shit, you're addicted and you need help. You're a clown. <laughs> yeah, you're a fucking idiot. Hey man, everybody like everybody watch what they want to watch, man. You porn right. shaming? Next one is <laughs> keep your passion alive. So I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't is. know what the fuck. I just the majority nothing. of us have dreams, passions, and goals, right? All right, man. All right. Just fin- don't finish though. That sounds crazy. I don't, I don't like even Ryan. include that in my set. <laughs> sound like so. fucking Ryan. Imagine a nigga trying to make it to the NBA and he get and he just like he get addicted to porn and he he don't make it to the NBA or some shit like that. That's they, what they mean. I thought they slammed that baby up. Well, there. if you like a Fortnite streamer and you get like caught <laughs> <on beating your beat. laughs> you can't Fortnite stream no more. Is that what they mean? Yes. All right, number ten. The habit slash addiction can get worse. Just well, like robbing your mama for only. <laughs> hey, bitch! Come on, come on! I need, I need, I need some of it. It's still not nah, your mama I think, first. I think, I think you might start like needs it. Hogging the computer type shit. Like, hey, you got five seconds to get the fuck up. Off the <laughs> <laughs> just say like, fuck it, and then push them out of the way. You jack off while they in the house. Like that's just getting out of there. Bro. You don't even care who in the house no more. Is that what they talking about? Yeah, I guess so. Next one: less porn, better sex. Don't agree. That's not true. That don't even make any sense. You learn shit. You learn more, shit. Yeah. More, the more porn I watch, the better my sex is. No right. homo. Like I, I, you know what I'm saying. I got new moves. You know what I mean. <laughs> like, hey, I seen a bit get folded up one time. Like, I, I, I tried to press a little couple of chicks. You know what, like, what I'm saying. Hey, hold up, bitch. Let me put on these Tims real quick. You know what and mean? these knee pads. I'm a different nigga <laughs> with these nigga, shades on. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, nigga like, joke, just what? like John. <laughs> Boots. Why you just like John Cena before you smashing these hoes? Nigga walk in the room with a pair of jorts on. You know what I'm saying? Jesus Christ. Just go to work. <laughs> that let her know I mean business. <laughs> go to work, man. Stop clouding your imagination. That's the fun. Like, Why the hell? I'm 30 years old. What the hell I need with a goddamn imagination, bro? You'll have a lot more. <laughs> nah. Next, next one is you'll, you'll have I'm a good. lot more free time. <laughs> to do what? Watch porn. <laughs> like, that's How what much I, time that's what I do about free time. That? Hold up. You know what I'm saying? What? I'm watching. I read this one. Like, if, if you watching porn outside of your necessity, you know what I mean? I feel like you might have an addiction. Like, watching porn at Hungry House? I got to read this one. Like, I, don't, you just, like, I don't understand this one. The next one, number 14. It can promote violence against women. This one, uh, I like to take a pinch of... This one is like... I. This one, I like to take a pinch of salt. Watching porn has often led to men become more violent towards women any other videos online women are treated in a way that shouldn't ever be repeated in real life unless it's something that they find arousing and give you consent to what's this a call of duty game i don't know like, bro. Hey, do they it's a lot of women out, it's a lot of women out here that like get choked and choked i know and that's not that's not porn head. that's real life shit though so yeah i don't know bro you must be talking about mormon i'm bitches. not going around here beating bitches because I, nah, the first I time a woman it. asked me to choke her i was like yo like i don't I don't even know how to. Hey, these these 2019 women, they freaky. They want you to put a freaky boot on their neck. Yeah, and then they'll rob you. <laughs> hey, fuck me in the sink. <laughs> like, what, bitch? <laughs> you heard me, nigga? Fuck me in the sink. Right. All right. I mean, that's put true. Me in oh, hold on, dry hold on, let me get the dishes. Whoa. Let me get the dishes out of here. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to fuck me on the 1993 Grand Marquise. Like, <laughs> why? Nah, that's a lot. That is yeah. a lot, bro. It happens. Next one is, uh, the last one is stop feeling ashamed. That's that's the funny one because I do be feeling the shame when I'm there. That's the only one that's accurate. I be like, damn, but I'm no more. I can't shit even look tomorrow. at myself in the mirror 
<laughs> I drop my head, you know what I'm saying? I focus on washing my hands, you know what I mean? I'd be like, I right, yo, you know what I mean? All of a sudden, Maxwell Pretty Wing start playing. Bro. Did what I had to do. What the fuck going on? Yeah, I guess that that's the porn clarity, right? Mm-hmm. All yeah. right, so... um, Pinky. What's good, Gio? He, he also You would asked, get rid of Pinky? Hold on, hold on. He said, oh, um, if y'all had to get rid of one of these <laughs> porn stars' careers... Who would it be? Oh, never mind. We got, we got Roxy. We I got Beauty her. Dior. We got Jada Fire. We got Pinky and Cherokee. Jada Fire. <laughs> Jada Fire? I keep Pinky. Jada Beauty Fire. Dior. I've never gotten into any of Jada Fire. <laughs> I've never, though. yeah. I've never gotten into any of Jada Fire or Beauty Dior. Jada Fire is so fucking extra, though. Jada, I mean, Beauty Dior got some fire scenes. Her titty, I don't like Jada Fire titties. Now, matter of fact, I have seen a couple fire scenes from her. Her top game was crazy. Yeah, Jada, Jada yeah. Fire, did, Beauty Dior? Jada Fire, though. Man. She was so extra, bro. Oh, yeah. For no damn reason. She that. had some crazy talk, too, though. I remember that picture of ASAP Yams. Rest in peace, ASAP Yams. He posted that <laughs> picture of him gripping Beauty Dior booty. Yeah. Classic picture, man. That's I want to touch her ass so bad one day. Nigga. Her and Cherokees. <laughs> Y'all might get me out of here, dog. I'm leaning towards Cherokee. Really? You don't never watch her Instagram? Oh, no, wasn't it two Cherokees? Yeah, it was. It the was. Spanish and it the was that Spanish one. The Spanish one was crazy. She could do them crazy ass splits. This crazy. One, this one was it. Cherokee D ass, right? Yeah. Yeah. She okay. they got D ass tattooed on her. Yeah. It's a poor tattoo. Fuck. That is a poor crazy ass tattoo. Who y'all got? Uh, Jada Fire for me. I think it's either. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to go Jada Fire. Because yeah, I've, I've never, never watched. I've never fapped one of her videos, bro. Ever. She just don't do it for me. Ever. And I hate her nipples so damn much. <laughs> That's the first the thing I noticed. Did you this see them big ass nipples? <laughs> Jada Fire actually look better now than she did back nah, then. Nah, fuck that. Her daughter look better, nigga. Fuck that. Her daughter is fine as shit. You know how deep she need to do porn. You know how deep in a porn game you gotta be to know she. <laughs> what even? How do you even locate Jada Wiki- Fire? Dog, Wikipedia, nigga. nigga. They highlight the blue names. Okay. <laughs> Let me see what her daughter look like. Oh shit. <laughs> Google it. Nah, pull up, man. Pull up. <laughs> All right. Bro. All right um, Pinky got, daughter too. Deep. I'm just gonna go with. Um, <laughs> I'm going with Cherokee since I ain't really watching that much. I, I I ain't mad at you saying that, but yeah, I, I for me, I've never, I've never got yeah, yeah, got with one of Jada Files videos. Beauty Dior, like I say, I've just recently seen a couple videos, and I'm like, okay, I might have missed out. You know, it's all right. Yeah, this over here. Is she not better than her mom? Yeah, she definitely better than yeah, her mom. Yeah, she need to do porn. Without a doubt. <laughs> okay. Let, tell her that. Pinky daughter do porn, so. All right, this next one is from um, Ugly Man Raj. He said, y'all need to do a actor breakdown on Ving Rhames. Oh, that'd he, be hilarious. He, man, look. Ving I'm going to tell y'all what. crazy movies. Yeah. Yeah. My uncle fucked me up from watching Pulp Fiction for many years of my life. Yeah, that never like, watched I never watched Pulp Fiction a long time after that. I didn't watch Pulp Fiction until I was an adult, and then after I watched it, I was still fucked up behind it. Yeah, my, I think I as a child, it, my pa- my uncle was like, "Yeah, nah, I can't watch no Vin Rains movie no more." <laughs> I was like, "Yo, what you mean, like?" Because he was getting good at in the In the movie that we was watching at the time, he was beating ass. I forget what the fuck it was. You know what I'm saying? Pause. You know what I'm saying? Like, but he, he, was, he was whooping some ass. You know what I mean? And uh, my uncle was like, yeah, nah. He got a movie where he was getting fucked. I was like, what? Why? What the hell was y'all talking about for him to be like, man, hey. Like. Yeah. To ruin his childhood. Yeah, bro. <laughs> like I said, like. After that, I was like, yo, nah, if it's Vin Reigns, I'm cool. Like, we ain't even got to watch that <laughs> at all. Yo, I'm like, asshole, bro. Like, nah, he cool. But it was that one where he was getting fucked. Like, he could be watching Baby Boy. Like, oh, he, oh, he hard crazy, in this one. What's he hard crazy this. is this. Like, when I first saw Pulp Fiction, all the way up until, like, shit started to go sour for Vin Reigns, I'm like, yo, why would he want to watch this? This nigga, like, <laughs> nigga Joe excited as fuck. You know what I mean? <laughs> My nigga. You know, are you my nigga? Are you my nigga? Like, what's what, what's not to you know what I'm saying? Right, he's a crazy kid. And then when <laughs> that nigga was in them, uh, like when he was uh bonded up, I don't know if it was uh rope or what, you know what I'm saying? But when he was tied up and shit, I was like, oh, this this what he was talking about. Yeah, no, nah, I gotta fast forward or something like. <laughs> I can't watch this. Hey, I was don't a, know what they do hey, the show. Hey, everybody was a VHS. You know how you can still see shit? Like, yeah. <laughs> like, 
That bitch be like, you just see it. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Stop. V. V. Oh, my God. You, you was kicking ass in that last movie, bro. Hey, but this was Damn. not. I can't fuck with you. What's his name? Marcellus Wallace? Mm-hmm. Is yeah. Marcellus Wallace like a bitch to you? Yeah. Bro. I mean... Yeah, and he ended up becoming a bitch. Yeah, he bro. got the payback at the end. Yeah, but it's still <laughs> that don't really. Leave that should be funny if somebody were like, "Hey, man, <laughs> this might be a bad time. I know you killed these guys, but they still took your booty." So. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, did, right. Like, I know you. I know you took their life, bro. But like, matter of fact, let me they ask. They win in the end, literally. <laughs> Have y'all been watching Godfather of Harlem? No, nah, nah, I, I don't know. This. All right, man. I need to catch up about it. Talk about it. This nigga Bumpy Johnson, they got this enforcer that they use to like break niggas, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And they call this nigga, man, no homo before I even have to say it. It's scripting, you know what I'm saying? No, it ain't <laughs> <So>. me. <laughs> okay. They call this nigga Big Dick Buster. And like the last episode, this nigga had raped that Bumpy like Johnson. A cool name. No, not when you raping niggas. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's what they pay. That's what they pay him to do. Yes, that's all they pay they him. Just to paying do. a nigga to be gay. How you yeah. put the resume in, resume for that? It's <laughs> <laughs> like applied for being a cook at a strip club. Like, how do you even? Hey, nigga, you gotta I know did, somebody that know somebody. I did twenty five of them things. You know what I'm saying? He probably had like a like a like a uh, uh, audition around the city. Know. A lady that that's, used to work with me. She cooked. She cooked for the strippers. Think. What's that Ooh. strip club on the Lim Turner by the pig? Oh, uh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, she cooked for them strippers. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> and she used to come. Okay. She, she used to come on work, come to work late. <laughs> she was cooking for stripper yeah, bitches. Yeah, she used to come to work smelling like ribs. <laughs> <laughs> like, why you smell like, like damn, Why you ain't brain now? You was late as fuck. I'm like, no. I'm like, how do strippers be able to strip after eating all them ribs? Like, they should be able to perform. Like they go around a pole, they slipping off the pole. They fatigued after eating 13 ribs. <laughs> I was, like, I was like, what the hell you cook for this? Like, we cook ribs, we cook burgers. She was pota- really excited about this shit. We cook potato salad. Like, you should be like, man, how did corn, you? We had cornbread. Man, how did you get into this line of business? Like, I, was I, was like, like, I, was I used like, to be a stripper, baby. I used to work in the kitchen. <laughs> want to see my video? Nah, I don't want to see your videos, man. But um, Ving Rhames, let's break down his uh his uh his shit. I haven't seen most of these movies. Yeah, I haven't. Like, what's crazy? I've seen a long walk home, Jacob's Ladder, uh, see Holiday Heart, The yeah, only one that <laughs> like talk about all Heart. of it, it, him being. I seen Blood In, Blood Out, Pulp Fiction. We just talked about yeah. Marcellus Wallace, Kiss of Death. Oh okay, yeah, Kiss of Death was hard. Bro. Rosewood, <clears throat> Con Air. Con Air is a shitty movie. Mm. But I think most Nicolas Cage movies are shitty. But that's that's. I another, that's I, I can't get into any of them. Yeah. Niggas yeah. tried to get me out of here when I said Face Off was trash. Yeah, I'm not a big Nicolas. Cage. Face the dialogue off. was corny as fucking. Face Off was ass. These yeah. niggas cut their faces off and put it on. That's more confusing than it had to be. It was stupid, bro. It yeah. really. They could just got. Plastic Before we surgery. get to Holiday Hard, Baby Boy. Okay. Mm. okay. It was a Baby Boy. What's wait? Like, what's his most iconic role? What is it? Holiday Heart, Holiday Baby Heart. Boy, or Pulp Fiction? Baby Boy, cause you see more memes from Baby Boy than you do with Pulp Fiction. Like yeah, you do. Kill yeah, iconic. Yeah. Nobody's gonna mean what Baby. happened to him in Pulp Fiction. No one, because Except it would that be other, probably the other side of Twitter that I don't be on. Yeah, it would be very, <laughs> un, like it would be unsettling. Well, Baby Thanks. Boy. <laughs> yeah, Baby Boy. I, when I first seen, first of all, when I first seen Baby Boy, I seen the fucked up version on BET, the censored version. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, I didn't true. see the actual, like, actual version. I babysit us, let us watch that shit. That's how I first saw it. <clears throat> That's crazy. She was a horrible babysitter. Yeah. When I first seen Baby Boy, I thought that shit was a comedy. <laughs> I legit thought it was a comedy. But you knew niggas like that. <clears throat> Already. I did. I, I knew niggas like Jody. New niggas grown as fuck living in mama house with a bunch of kids. Yeah, that's like every nigga on the east side. Mm. I got you. I can see that. Shout out Snoop Dogg in that movie. Uh, yeah, I did. Okay, he, he played the hell out of the role. 
He played himself, basically. Yeah. Nigga, you's a bitch. He played the hell out of that. How you get out of prison and you moving a bitch house? Like, y'all should have like, no, nigga, you can't come back. Yeah, here. like I'm gonna call the cops. Nigga had like, he had his homeboys over there. And he shit. made himself more than comfortable. He yeah. made himself at home. He kicked that nigga. He kicked that nigga. Uh, Ford over that kid. Yeah. Kick, like fuck your Ford. Fuck your Ford, punk nigga. I'm gonna tell you. should have ran in just just off the strength of how uh, his little man was being done. Yeah, Jody got the last laugh at the end, bro. Yeah, at the end. They killed the shit out of that nigga, and like nobody gave a fuck about that nigga. Wasn't even on the news. They just killed that nigga on the stu- on the <laughs> sidewalk. <laughs> right. Ain't <laughs> right. nobody come outside or nothing. In their like. defense, that was L.A. <laughs> they just came so. outside. Hey, hey, I'm waiting on that nigga to die. <laughs> yeah. Hey, thank you. Thank you for killing him, bro. What kept, I owe you? He kept using all the water up. <laughs> I was in the store. That nigga took the last <laughs> box of sugar smacks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that nigga just did on the sidewalk. He didn't talk about all the dudes. Nobody tried to help. Where was his homies at the end? They didn't try to. They didn't try to clap back. On the north side of X Con, <laughs> killed on the sidewalk. Snoop Dogg. Any, anyways, how about those LA Rams? The yeah. one last night. <laughs> score thirty-two to fifteen. <laughs> like, yeah, fuck that nigga, dog. That dead ass nigga. <laughs> All right, holiday hard. Uh, honestly, why? Honestly, <clears throat> he did play the hell out of that role. He killed that role. He did. He played the fuck out of that role, but he didn't it, even get an Oscar for this. Bro, holiday hard caught me off the movie. guard when I first seen that shit because I didn't know what it was. Yeah, I was I because they used to play that shit at the One Hundred System Park every every, every day. Other day, every day yeah. <laughs> so I'm watching. I done got home from school. It's a Friday. I remember this shit like it was yesterday. So I'm watching I'm watching 106 in Park. I fall asleep. So I wake up and they say, you know, I see a big three hundred pound nigga in a wig singing baby love. Yeah. I'm like, nigga, what is this? <laughs> Sitting and dance around the room, I was, and shit, like yeah. I was like, nigga, is that Ving Rhames, yeah, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> I was yeah, like, bro, what is this shit, bro? Is that nigga from First Baby time Boy? I seen it, I looked back. I was like, nah, he he too big. <laughs> he too big. <laughs> he too big. To That's really like, what everybody like, probably like, do. Like, he too big. And this nigga wearing a wig. Hey, for like, what? Hey, what's? I legit was confused. Who mans is this? Right. Like, <laughs> it was like y'all seen the meme, but a little boy, he be like, come here. Get your man. Yeah, I yeah. see that. That shit. shit hilarious. That's from that movie Buffed Up. I don't know what the hell that it's is. It's a movie about um it's a it's a Detroit nigga movie about like the the shades buffs and like um a nigga I think a nigga had got like he took his cousin buffs or something like that and he got him stolen or some shit like that. It, it's a it's a decent movie, man. I, I like it. It's one of them YouTube only movies. No. Nah. I'm good on those. You hate everything. After man. that Rocco You hate movie. everything black, nigga. That Rocco and Gucci Man movie was great to you? Nah. All right, then. <laughs> Why <laughs> good? That Rocco and Gucci Man, that shit ain't had no script to it. Nah, I don't know what the fuck it was about. Nobody knows what it's about. <laughs> okay. Gucci Man didn't even know that shit was filmed. That nigga, that shit, <laughs> he didn't know how He just seen niggas with cameras and shit, man. But um, when I first seen Holiday Heart, I was like, bro, what the fuck is this shit, man? And then... I kept watching it. It was pretty good, man. It had um, Alfre Woodard. She played a crackhead. That's yeah. like in most of her movies. Is it really? She always plays something wrong with her. So movies. she did like the Clifton Powell for crackhead? Yeah, yeah. she actually, she the, she the Clifton, she the female version of Clifton Powell. I think this deserves a uh, wiki search. Yeah. Might have to do that. I'm yeah. going to pull it up. She got memes. I, I tell you about Holiday Heart do got memes because like when a chick be like that, that dick crazy memes, they always mm-hmm. post her. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, he got, that's two for two, like... Those darn Summer Walker fans. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, I heard a line Chill on Summer out. Walker album. I was like, ma'am, cut it out. <laughs> well, that line, shit man. had me dying and when she, you tweeted and that and shit. And they are abu- uh, women have been abusing that line. <laughs> Summer Walker said on the song with her and um, Janae Ayako, <laughs> she said, if she find you better be blind. I've literally seen like a thousand so captions stupid. with that shit. Women wrote that like, <laughs> Women are you need to stop it, bro. I still be is niggas supposed to, <laughs> Absolutely. Is niggas supposed to stop looking at other women once they like date a woman? They like you just like not supposed to be attracted to other women. Take my eye. I ain't gonna tell them looking. Like, damn, she <laughs> fine. I can't see no more. Like, like what are you talking about? <laughs> There'll be some about? bullshit if that happened for real. Also on that song, she talked about waving guns in niggas' faces. Yeah. Damn, she's, that's so sexy. That is kind of sexy. sexy. Right, yeah, I'll admit, I take man. you gotta you I gotta marry that. Yeah, man. 
Yeah, yeah. That means she you love you. Shot, nigga. Yeah, that means she just love you, bro. Right. That's enough. Crazy. She love you that much to kill your ass. That's love. <laughs> That's love, man. And then also on the hook, she said she'd go to hell and jail for a nigga. That's what's up. That's a little too much. Head gang up. If crazy. a woman tell me that, I'm thinking she's crazy. I'm like, hey, baby, you ain't got to do all that right there. <laughs> hell, 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 but jail. she is going to do you all that. Jail. You go to jail for me. But I don't hell. give a fuck, L. I don't give a fuck. Like, you I mean, her actions that's going to land her in jail. It's going to be killing your ass. Yeah. <laughs> and hell. Oh, shit. But that's that a... would in turn land Oh, that's what hell. she meant. Hell oh, and jail. Shit. I go to hell and jail for you for killing your so ass. So I guess she. In she... your sleep, nigga. Hey, man. I'm going to tell you what a wise man, what George Lincoln said. George Washington said. Which one? George Washington. Don't dope dick these hoes. He said it. Mm. You shouldn't. In the, they gonna know Summer Walker. Seventeen hundred. Yeah, why not? What was George Washington? Print? That nigga had a mouthful of wood teeth, bro. They ain't had a, that nigga first. Like don't don't <laughs> dig these hoes. Don't do it. Bro. I know you got a whole lot of opium. Yeah, but tonight <laughs> I would say which one was that? That was Thomas Jefferson, the one that was like fucking his slaves. Yeah, yeah. That nigga was wild out here, bro. Like black of the bear, sweet of the juice. He said that. I yeah. hate, you know what I'm saying. That's where that shit come from, your boy. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> holiday, yeah. Holiday Heart Two. Wrap it up. Uh, I don't really remember. That's uh, Mission Impossible. He was in that. Yeah, he was on all the Mission Impossible. Yeah, yeah but he was, he didn't really but, do shit yeah, in it. He was not iconic in that. Yeah, he just was the nigga. That's it. That's all he played. He didn't do shit. I ain't seen him fight one person in that movie. Am I? Am I reading this right? <laughs> yeah. This says Leroy and Stitch. What the fuck is Leroy and Stitch? <laughs> they may say Leroy and Stitch. Is that Lilo cousin or some shit? Um, <laughs> I do say Leroy. I think, I think Leroy was like the evil, yeah, the evil. Uh, was he a redneck? He was MAGA? They had a MAGA stitch? He's from the same planet or some shit. Oh, he's like from that. the same set? They yeah. like rep. Because Le- it look like Stitch is blue and Leroy is red. <laughs> you know what I'm blood saying? Blood is a crip. Hey, yeah. man. I ain't no Stitch was out here cripping, bro. I just thought that nigga was a, a dog alien. He was born in <laughs> so um, okay. I thought that nigga was a, that nigga was, I thought that nigga was a dog alien pairing you without your blood. He was a blue koala, bro. Why they had to name that nigga Leroy? That's kind of racist. <laughs> I thought that's what he was. Why is that? Oh, he was an idol while too. He was. I'm trying to remember his role in Idlewild. Probably <laughs> give him hell, Malone. That's not like a Netflix. Massa Herald. He was in Piranha 3D. Uh, I'm sorry, what was that last one? Give him hell. No. Which one? Massa, <laughs> Massa what? Uh, Massa Herald and the Boys. Oh, they... This nigga just... What did you say? He take <laughs> that man. <laughs> heard, I thought I was true. Whatever it is, that bitch did say Massa Herald and the Boys? The race, the race... I need to watch that. Death Race 2. Death Race 1 was ass. It was. It was. I didn't even know. They got like, they got like on five. This nigga was in not one Piranha movie, but two Piranha movies. He was the cop that killed the Piranha. This nigga was in Death Race 3. Oh, he was in that zombie movie. Um, mm-hmm. they, Dawn of the Dead. Remember he played the cop? The nigga yeah. cop killing zombies? That shit was dead that. as an iconic nah, role. That nigga was actually movie, in that movie, bro. I don't remember him in that. Yeah, he was the main nigga killing people. I might have to They had Makai Pfeiffer in it, too. But that shit, that's an iconic role. I did fuck with him with that role. Yeah, he was in Day of the Dead. Um, he was in the zombie apocalypse. I don't remember this nigga was in Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't remember that. He played Charlie 27. What the f- fuck? He must have been in a costume. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, he was in the Mission Impossible last year. Yeah. All right, you said <laughs> Alfred Wood was a crackhead. Let me pull her shit up real quick, man. I think you're doing, the, doing our dog wrong. What What do you see her good in, bro? Hold on. Nah, you said she was a crackhead. Don't change it up now, nigga. Nah, I'm not changing it up. Nigga, I'm, I know what she is. I stick by the shit. All right, um... Crackhead, crackhead, crack. I'm looking at <laughs> you, you, you. was right. Crackhead. She was in. She was in. She was in Crooklyn. Dead crackhead. She yeah. was a dead. Crackhead. <laughs> a dead crackhead. Um, this nigga. This bitch is Star Trek. As a, as a, as a space crackhead. <laughs> space. Crackhead. <laughs> she had. She was an intergalactic crackhead. Um. Down in the Delta, a, Bruh. Hot, a hot crack. Bruh. <laughs> that was the first one. <laughs> Loving basketball, <laughs> a, a crackhead with a killer crossover. Yeah, she did. Yeah, uh, she what else? Dino- I don't know what the fuck dinosaur is. 
She was in Dinosaur? Is one of the characters? A, dino, a prehistoric crackhead. She was in a Wild Thornberry movie. Crackhead. Oh, she was definitely a crackhead in a Wild Thornberry Yeah, absolutely. That's just a animals. tropical crackhead. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, she was in a beauty shop. Cosmetolin crackhead? Nah, she played a... Respectable a woman. A respectable woman. Respectable crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have those, too. I've uh, known a couple. <laughs> I don't remember You meet them on the east side. <laughs> She's a, she, I, I, I never seen she, Annabelle before. She's an Annabelle, apparently. The yeah, oh, she she died actually in that movie. She jumped out the window with Annabelle. <laughs> I'm not lying. She did. Oh, That's she something had. to crack in the window. Somebody go sell Annabelle. <laughs> <laughs> she was in Lion King. She played Sarabi. Was that's like one of the hyenas, right? No, yeah, that's yeah, Simba that Mama, is, bro. That was, nah, that was Sarabi. Was the uh, the lead hyena. That was Simma Mom, dude. Look at oh, that. Sarabi? Yeah. Yeah, remember Scott slapped the shit out of him? He was like, Sarabi! Slap the fuck out of him? Yeah, yeah, it was, died, yeah, it was so. the mama. Yeah. Uh, so, nigga, what they got to do with you being wrong as fuck? Like, <laughs> nah, you said look it up. So <laughs> I'm like, hyena. hey, nigga, I can't, you know what I mean? Nigga like, hey, bro, like, you wrong with that. Yeah, man, Jimmy Crack Cohen and I don't care. <laughs> like, what the fuck they got to do with you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, yeah. Look at that picture of that lion she played on the cart too. Like, look at her eyes. Yeah, she like a seductive lion. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like she's she like, she like she... a IG honey lion. Crack. Uh, <laughs> you said crack. <laughs> a crack lion. That's, That's a fine little crackhead lion, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Bro, she, yeah, she, she did touch you, bro. Together. She had a lot of roses of crackhead. That's why she was in something recently, and I was like, damn, I'm surprised she ain't playing a crackhead. What was it? It's something a new movie. Yeah, I like I don't remember her Annabelle at all, man. At all. Nigga, she's the only nigga in there. Man, can we cue boys to men for the uh the loss of uh Jalen Ramsey? Tell how, it's over boy, man. man yeah, play some Sam Smith or something. <laughs> Sam Smith, that's Please crazy. stay. I don't think that's his name. That's not Sam Smith song? I mean, I don't think He ain't got a song that. called Stay? Damn. Oh, yeah. Why don't you stay? Yeah. We get the ox. I got the, I got the perfect Sam Smith song, bro. We about to get it cracking in here, bro. I got the perfect one. Hold that on. That nigga play Latches. Yeah. What? <laughs> you, just, you ruined it, bro. You ruined it. You is, for real? Well, you ruined it, bro. I, I didn't I really think no you would do that. Never. Nah, play it anyway. Yeah, it's a good, you it's still a good it, song. <laughs> it's, it's over. It's over. It's still a good song. You ruined it, bro. All right, so on the send and listen to questions, email us at mail at ariopodcast.com. It's mail at ariopodcast.com, man. So what else are we talking about? You was supposed to talk about you slinging bodies, nigga. I'm oh, sure yeah. you never told that over here, bro. It's actually, yeah, that is actually shocking that I haven't told that story. So um, I was laughing hard. Yeah, I just got into it one day. Um, <clears throat> funeral owner asked me, say, you know, how would you feel about picking up bodies? And honestly, I thought he was joking with me at first. I was like, shit, I don't know. Well, it paid pretty good. Let me think about this, picking up these bodies. I said, you might got me there. I said, what, you know, what, what do I got to expect? Say, just be, you know, keep your phone on, and I'm going to call you. Oh, shit, he's nigga for how you in a mafia. That, that was, was the good. conversation. Some mafia shit. So the first body I get, I don't know what to expect, you know what I'm saying? I show up suit and tie, you know what I mean? <clears throat> for somebody who ain't going to see you? Well, you know, the family is. I still got to look presentable, you know? I would have showed up some dicky shorts. <laughs> 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 You know, body that's, oil. That's, get the, that's the attire of the niggas that made them a body. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. You're gonna get no body oil on me. Pair of forces and shit. <laughs> so uh, I walk in and uh, like clearly it's a big ass nigga. You know what <clears> I mean? <throat> like they got the sheet pulled over him. You know what I mean? So like I don't know what to expect at all. You know what I mean? We we got the gurney. We walk it in and whatnot and. Um, the caretaker, like, the dude who lost his life, the first body I had, he had, um, if I'm not mistaken, he was autistic. And he had a stroke in the shower, you know what I mean? So, at the time of death, he was butt-ass naked. Yeah. So, they pulled back the <laughs> sheet. That's usually what happens in the shower. 
<laughs> they pull back the sheet, and I'm like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like that, the, like the only advice I got when uh, when I got the call that night, you know what I'm saying? It was like two o'clock in the morning. Oh my bad. It was like, uh, hey, just you know what I mean? Like I know it's this two o'clock in the morning first... when you called you. Yeah. Fuck. I know this is gonna be your first time. You know what I mean? Like just. Uh, just try not to react, you know what I mean? Like it's two o'clock in the damn morning. I'm reacting. We can talk about, you know what I mean? We can talk about it tomorrow, or whatever. We'll t- I'll talk you through it. So I see this, uh, you know what I'm saying? Two hundred and forty pound, two hundred forty five pound nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like yo, oh shit. Yeah, that's what you say when you first walk in. There. That's what I was saying. You see a dead ass nigga. <laughs> first yeah, so first day like... and all, bro. I, 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 oh shit. So we gotta <laughs> walk down the stairs and shit, and uh, you know I'm pretty strong, but. Uh, I guess you know as we seen last week, right? You know what I mean. When I had this nigga, I wasn't even trying hoisted over my <laughs> shoulders. I wasn't Feet even trying dangling. I hadn't <laughs> ate that day. Anyway, finish. <laughs> you want to move past that? <laughs> I didn't eat that day. I, can I make my avatar uh, uh GIF? You know what I mean? Like, can I? No, have you that? can't. All right, well, shit. I'm gonna get one of them holographic ones the where, like, when you look at it in different lights, yeah. it, it see different images, and it's gonna be me. Flex and Devin over my shoulders like this. You know what I'm saying? When you look on the left side. That was a highlight of the week for you, wasn't it? <laughs> nah, nigga. Because you don't get no bitches. All right, finish the story. Wow. I get plenty of bitches. No, you don't. I will. <laughs> <laughs> well, bitch, I had your ass pussy for about 30 years. <laughs> so, long story short, um, I, 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 I guess, you know, like I say, people look at me and they're like, you know, this nigga going to need some help. So, the caretaker, he keep trying to like, I guess got me from the back. I'm like, man, you're going to have to move so I can Okay, so like what in carry this nigga? What in you carried his whole body? You was like, y'all was So nah, nah, nah. We had, you know, you got two people there, one on both sides. Like if it's a smaller body, one person can get them depending on your strength. Holy you know? shit, you got to like pick up like you like cradling them when you walk out that bitch. Well, I mean, you see how I gauge you. You carry bodies out <laughs> like that, nigga? But they be dead. <laughs> nah, be so, juices flying all you gotta shit. do, yeah. all you gotta do is move them from the bed to the gurney. You know what I mean? Oh, okay, Essentially, yeah. most times you want to use the sheet and shit. You try not to, you know, touch the body too much. But you got gloves on and such, so you know. But um, all right. So one of my craziest stories, like this chick. You know, I ain't never really like. You got all kinds of idioms, and it's truth to a lot of them. But when they say like, damn. Nigga, you smell like death. Shit like that, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. Like, I ain't never really believed that shit, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And how they say uh, you, you release your bowels, like I ain't know what to expect with it per se, you know? Yeah. So um, this elder lady, she uh, she passed. <clears throat> we pick up the body. I ain't really smell it like in the house. But boy, when we got, matter of fact, once we got her onto the gurney and we moved her off the bed, it hit like a punch. <laughs> like, oh, she did, did. You know what I mean? Uh, we got her in the truck, and like clearly she had used the bathroom. You know what I mean? She let go of everything. But oh, you, pull, you plugging that now? <laughs> <laughs> Look at why you talking about these ladies. Bows, nigga. R.O.P. Water. Drink this, you won't be dead. <laughs> so, um,. I mean, it was almost as if she hadn't been clean for hours. You know what I mean? Like, she had a diaper on and shit. So, uh, we get to the funeral home. Gotta, <laughs> hey, nigga, change that diaper. <laughs> <laughs> we got to derobe them and such, you know? So, um, I turn around to grab the toe tag. And when I turn back, like, the dude I'm working with, he got her whole, like, he grabbed her by the ankles. But he got her whole bottom half so high up they in the air. like a rabbit, nigga? <laughs> yeah, yes, nigga, exactly. The only thing that was on the board, <laughs> the table rather, was her head. So she just Damn. up in the air like Strong this. Strong with this nigga. <laughs> nigga, I, I catch a whiff of that. Like, I turned around with the toe tag, and I turned right back around. I'm like, God damn, put her down. <laughs> lay her down, nigga. He grabbed a bottle of Febreze and sprayed her head to toe full body. I'm like, damn, nigga. Like, that was that. Treat her like a damn rug, that's, bro. That's, that's you treat her like a fucking that's rug. That's a good marketing for Febreze. Yeah. Febreze. It takes out a scent of dead bitches. <laughs> hey, nigga, so, cop that. 
when you die, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want your skin to dry out, shit like that, you know what I mean? So when they got to uh, embalm you and, and whatnot, you know, they, uh, one thing that, you know, they do, do is uh, they'll put Vaseline on you. And, like, the way he was doing it, you know how uh, boxes, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, no bullshit. That's how he was lacing this woman's face. That nigga grabbed the jaw, and he goes like, all right, look. <laughs> nigga, like she dead, bro. What the fuck? You, I know that's just wild shit, bro. Like, he hit the cheeks real quick. I was like, man, what you been Like, nigga, hey, nigga, fuck that shit. We got two more bodies before the night over. We need to hurry this shit up, nigga. Yeah, man. And she stank. Uh, I don't think you supposed to spray some for breeze on people. Bro. Bro. She ain't, who she, she, still on there. Who I, she gonna I tell? Ain't know what to who she gonna I tell, bro? Supposed to do that, bro. I turn around. I ain't got no, the whole can just. I ain't no bodyologist, but I don't think you supposed to spray some. Hey, who, she gonna like, who she gonna tell? Who she gonna tell? She got sprayed with for breeze, alcohol, you tell God, you know nigga. Man? Like all kinds. Hey, God, you see how they doing me you down see, there? <laughs> you see the way they do my body? They ain't even. Damn, they ain't even a tropical for breeze neither. That's the regular. Yeah, man, it was dangerous. How they doing me? <laughs> uh, we had one dude. He uh, he had been sitting in the house for a few days. You know what I'm oh, saying? Nope. So that 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 house smelled like a fucking bomb. You know what I mean? And then like the family and the the, the girlfriend. He was dating a white woman, and clearly the family ain't fuck with her mm-hmm. at all. She was like, "Yo, everything in his pockets is mine." In his little pockets? Yeah, legit. He's a broke ass nigga. Everything in his pockets was mine. The crazy thing is, when we went to pull him out the bed, he he had his legs amputated and he didn't have on no pants. So we like, <laughs> <laughs> what pockets you talking about? You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> you had to throw that joke in though. What the you had, I would have yeah. joke in there too. Wait, the right time. They got no pockets. Nah, they, he just ain't have you know what no use for. Like he ain't have right. on no pants at all. Like he had on drawers, you know what I mean. But oh, okay. like he just laying in the bed like a t-shirt, and she was hey, adamantly bitch, you like, "You want his dick or something?" So you she was trying to say like, whatever he has on him right now, uh-huh. you know what I mean? Like, yo, I'm finna take it. The family was like, "Nah," like they was legit finna go to blows to the point where like both of them had caught the police. Uh-huh. So when we got there, the police was on the way. They like, yo, don't nobody touch the body until they get here because whatever come out, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever's in his pants is ours, yada, yada. Police walk in, right they up. pull back the sheet. And like, yo, he ain't got no pants. Like, <laughs> ain't no pockets. Let's get this body the fuck out of here. Like, yo, the house was foul. It was just a crazy experience. They, fight, they doing all this fight with a stink-ass house? Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. They don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you see different people grieve being serious now you know what i'm saying y'all gotta forgive me i'm a cool nine nine times out of ten when i get on air but uh yeah. being serious right now um people do grieve in uh in, in different ways of course you know what yeah. i'm saying so like one <clears throat> one experience we had we was picking up an elder lady and uh the younger like one of the younger grandsons he was having a really tough time with it the police was in the house already and um, one of the family members comes to us, like the uncle or something, and he's like, hey, look, we need y'all to wait. You can't pick up the body right now because if you remove her, he's going to try and fight you. You know, we don't know how he's going to react. I'm like, shit, I do. Them two police officers standing right there. If he try anything, you know what I'm saying, his ass going to jail. <laughs> like, I'm not worried about that shit. You know what yeah, I mean? Fuck that nigga. I got a job to do. Like, be. at the end of the day, nigga, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Let me get this body and go, you know? <laughs> but, um, like I say, you know, it's, it's, it's a tough experience. Some people do legitimately want to sit up under that body. Did, you know? Um, I've seen them have the kids... In the room with them for hours, you know what I'm saying? Like just crazy experiences, and we talk about like just just fresh past, you know what I mean, or or whatever the circumstance was. Like, so it was an interesting, interesting job, interesting experience. Fuck that shit, bro. Let's get ignorant. What if you was go see a body, <laughs> right? Because like, I'm, I'm all they for lay, ignorance. They laying on two hundred thousand dollars. 
Oh, yeah, push the body off and I'm take a, the hook two hundred thousand dollars. Nah, nigga, I'm not even. I'm gonna still respect the body. Like I'm really? gonna toss that bit over my shoulder. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm gonna okay. just push it. Who gonna, I'm who gonna, gonna tell? My pockets and yeah, his. just push it over. <laughs> just push it over. Like who gonna, who he gonna tell? I'm gonna lay him on the gurney. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I land on nigga on the gurney, bro. I'm pushing. It. That's gay. You still gotta do your job, nigga. No, I don't. Not if I found two hundred thousand dollars, nigga, I'm quitting. That's another check. Yeah, I'm qu- fuck that check. They're going to take that $200,000 up on that body. And I'm quitting. And get arrested. They started me a t-shirt company. Now that nobody's snitching, it's going to be three bodies. And why did nigga end. Devin quit it? Oh, that nigga got 200 He 200. hit the lotto. Yeah, that's it. Remember that's that enough? body he was supposed to pick up? <laughs> nope, I don't. That body never existed, bro. That ain't going to have a conversation. I'm like, yeah, that nigga, I heard that nigga stole that shit. I moved to Mexico, nigga. Fuck y'all. I mean, shit. Yeah, it just set it off, nigga. You going to move to Mexico. Yeah. They ain't gonna do it. That bitch moved to Mexico with three hundred thousand. I mean, three like what she had like thirty thousand. <laughs> she only had thirty. Yeah, they had no real stupid money. Bitch. She had nineteen ninety six, but like that was gonna change her appearance. Like, we see you, bitch. You just cut your head off. But everything in Mexico off. is cheaper, so then she made the cartel. <laughs> yeah. That's what happened. She got she beheaded. She got her hands chopped off. That's real. Cause she was a black woman. No set in it Mexico. off too. No set it off too. Yeah. So yeah. um... I said, you know, I told all those stories just to say, like, when I do get rid of this nigga Devin, just know, like, I am going respectfully, like, I, he's still going to have a memorial and shit. Nigga, fuck yeah. you. I'm going to hunt the fuck out of you, nigga, for eternity. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine me hunting you forever, <laughs> nigga. Everywhere you go. That nigga in the trunk of a brick. <laughs> I'll be at your kid graduation, nigga. I'll be like, saber. I'll be at your kid graduation, I'll be hunting you, shooting birds. Do that nigga how they, the did, they, how they did, bro, on Snowfall. Oh, he yeah. run the first season on stuff. Huh? <laughs> when that they put that nigga in the trunk and yeah, drove him out to the desert. desert. Yeah. <laughs> that, nigga like that. that nigga cut through the seats on their ass. <laughs> that shit would have fucked me up too. I ain't gonna lie. Like, oh shit, this nigga ain't once, dead. Once he did that shit to that nigga on the house, I was like, he gonna be dead in two of the three episodes. Yeah, he gotta be dead. Like, <laughs> hey, look, look, look. If I if I witness any nigga. Yeah. Fuck a nigga. You had you to spoil it for him because some people still catch. Some people still haven't seen Snowfall. Like it's it's not that popular as people think it is. We're yeah. spoiler alert. <laughs> you gotta yeah, you gotta go man. though. You gotta go. Like hey. yeah, once he did that shit abroad, like yeah, he's not lasting the end of this. Season. Hey, look. <laughs> oh, he got Vin, he got Vin Rain. You gotta Damn. go. I'm plotting against you, nigga. You ain't see Snow? You watch Snowfall? Then? No, I ain't watch it yet. Bro, you gotta watch, watch that. That shit good as fuck. Bro. Yeah, My brother yeah, keep yeah, telling yeah. me to watch that shit. I'm gonna watch it eventually. Yeah. Not that part though. It might not be for you. you know what I'm <laughs> not that part. Okay. Especially if niggas right. getting raped. That's fine. Nah, it's just like a real nigga show, you know what I mean? Yeah, not a, not. niggas getting raped. This is one scene, bro. Okay. Right. You just I'm fixated surprised on. you wasn't trying to I'm that just part surprised you got, you know, I, I got not, you aroused. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's Devin, what it was? Yeah, you fixated on that part. Are you gay shaming? Yeah, Devin yeah. Is. You are? Nah. Nah, no, you just said yeah. Devin shaming. You know, you just literally just said yeah. We Devin You just said yeah. I know that Vin Rain's experience fucked you up, Joe, but it's okay, man. No, nigga, you grew that shit up. excited you, nigga. I said Clearly. you, nigga. <laughs> no, my, my uncle didn't spoil it for me. My uncle wasn't like, hey, right nigga, now. don't don't think that nigga was a hero. Even nah, that ready. nigga was like, that nigga gave me good warning. Clearly, he was like, hey, watch out. That nigga got fucked in a movie <laughs> and then ended up acting like a bitch in another movie. So, is don't, that, wait, is that, is that why, why that happened like that? Nah, That's I don't a hell know, of an order. But, I think that I think that ultimately that's what he was getting at, so that's how I took it. I feel like I feel like everybody used to get um, Ving Rains and Michael Clark Duncan confused. There was some big black niggas with bald heads, bro. I mean, rest in peace, Michael Clark Duncan. Man. Yeah, rest in peace. Wait, people thought wait, what's, what movie they thought? Uh... Especially when, <laughs> people thought that was um, people thought that was uh, Ving Rains and Green Mile. I, <laughs> I couldn't nigga, imagine that. Michael Clark Duncan. I couldn't imagine that. And right now, the only way I see him acting in that shit is like uh, him in in Holiday Fucking Heart. I couldn't. I I, I just couldn't imagine him. I definitely role. seen. I definitely seen um, Michael Clark Duncan on something. And he was like, Nah, that wasn't me in Holiday Heart. <laughs> <laughs> You ain't gonna get no extra points pulling them moves. Michael Clark Duncan said that verbatim. He said, I ain't pulling the maggot moves. <laughs> that ain't me. Okay. I was a talented nigga nice, though. That was definitely that me. That was definitely me. <laughs> you know, real fair? That was me. <laughs> now put that on me, Ricky Bobby. Oh, See, that was me. Okay. That was me. 
Now, right. hey, his would be a good one to uh, break down. What? His uh, his catalog. Michael Clark Duncan. Yeah. Does he have a big one? I mean, shit. Green Mile was a big one. Green Mile. Uh, he Tyler played. Nigga Nice was a big one. I just played, know. He, I just know he was fucking that. Daredevil. He was fucking that MAGA bitch. Um, what's her name? Arnosa. <clears throat> Ew. He was dating her. I think he was married to her. Wow. She, that's probably why he did. He couldn't take it. <laughs> she had the first ever MAGA hat, and that nigga had a heart attack, bro. Yeah, yeah that is. That, like, that will break your heart, bro. All right, real quick on the Patreon. One of the goals was uh, if we get to 50 Patreons. We got 31 <laughs> now, so we got 19 away. If we got to 50 Patreons, we either had to wear MAGA hats on the show or bonnets on the show. And the Patreon people got to vote for whichever one we we uh we wear. Well, Patreon, I'm all for the bonnets. <laughs> hey, I don't wear the bonnets. Bro. Yeah, we just get something from Eric. Like, hey, bro, let's saying? get three like, fresh hey, bonnets. Niggas definitely. Go, if I know our fans, they probably gonna pick us with that. That nigga gonna hands, be like bro. top drawer, left uh, left corner. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I want to wear no MAGA hat. Our so. fans troll too, <laughs> yeah, bro. Nah. So they might pick us to wear the MAGA hat. So. That shit yeah. could haunt you, man. <laughs> that shit could haunt you. I'm gonna wear yeah, my back. be that Kanye meme with him on the plane. <laughs> I'm just wearing my cool niggas. <laughs> just wear mine backwards. Bro. That wouldn't look good neither, man. Three of us sitting here with uh, <laughs> MAGA hats on. Nah, I know like, one thing. Like, you, like I said last week, bro. You can't wear the MAGA hat because you a rapper and shit. It might fuck your image up, yeah, bro. You can't. I can't do that. I already said. You gotta I, not be on this. I already episode. said the trunk give but, us reparations, right, nigga. We, I'm getting a MAGA jersey made, we, so fuck that shit. I'm already <laughs> out of the. Hey, look, I might be behind. I'm gonna get a reparations jersey made. Can I do that? Like, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Right, I'm getting a MAGA jersey. Right. Yeah, because I don't. I don't fuck with. You know what I'm saying? That shit long overdue. Get that money, though. It ain't Definitely even him. Get that money. It is true. Obama couldn't even get that shit back for us, and he was a nigga. Bullshit. Bullshit. I, I, I believe it. Man, I believe it when this nigga get out this impeachment shit. That nigga ain't getting impeached. He, he's white, man. He's getting out of that. <laughs> he's a rich white. I, I mean, if he's not president, he's still going to be a billionaire. So, like, does he really give a fuck? Nah, he really don't. He didn't give a fuck while he was president. All right, we, we we talking too much about Trump. Fuck Trump. Yeah. Fuck Trump. I ain't bro. even say his name. Fuck him, bro. All the right, so um, random podcast got a thirty second Trump. <laughs> listen, Trump listen to rap. They probably talk about Trump. <laughs> talk post talk about sports. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk. About, speaking of sports, man, let's talk about this shit, man. It's injustice. All right, so a high school football coach was fired <laughs> after a team chance using a racial slur caught on video. So I don't know if you've seen this. I seen this shit. All right, you seen so, it. This is fucked up, bro. This is pretty fire, though. The chant. It is. The, the chant, yeah. I was like, when I seen it, I was like, damn. I wish I I, I, I had that coming up. Yeah. <laughs> two ass. Two pass. Knock a nigga shit loose. Knock a nigga shit loose. I got two hands. Two pass. That's the old nigga. That's the old nigga. I got two hands. Two pass. Knock a nigga shit loose. Knock a nigga shit loose. Knock a nigga so shit. clearly, it's really too, man. like that was an all black team. Yeah, all black team. No, no, no. I didn't see no black. I ain't seen no light skin. It was all dark skin. Niggas. Was that rain? It was all niggas. Was that like, rain? Dark nigga. Nah, I thought it was rain. rain. But nah. clearly, they beat the shit out of some. Uh, I'm willing to bet they're undefeated. Yeah, I could definitely. They, I felt that, that shit, bro. It was, it, I mean, it, that's it, the it. only way you are that confident to do that shit. Knock a nigga <laughs> shit loose. <laughs> I gotta replay that. That's like some Pop Warner shit right there. That is Pop Warner shit. Well, some people don't understand the culture, bro. All right, let me play it. Two ass, two pass. Knock a nigga shit loose. Knock a nigga shit loose. I got two hands, two pass. That's the old nigga. That's the old nigga. I got two hands, two pass. Knock a nigga shit loose. Knock a nigga shit loose. Bruh, imagine if they would have did this shit like during the FCAT testing. Nobody would fail the FCAT nah, test. Right. I got two pencils. I got two <laughs> scantrons. <laughs> knock a nigga shit loose. Like, you know, that shit don't make sense. I get a five, five on that bro. belt. <laughs> like, nigga, nigga, hey, you remember how you had to crack it open? Yeah. Slide your pencil through the paper. I would have slipped. Pow! Knock a nigga <laughs> shit loose. I would have been too excited to say that shit. The whole class would have joined this ceremony. With the whole like, school would have got, got a scratch eight, paper. Man. I got a pencil. <laughs> <laughs> Knock a nigga shit, shit loose. loose. Like, damn, they passed the fuck out that test. Y'all saw that shit? I would have hey, been they in did. the cafeteria like, I had multiple choice. Hey, come on. Knock a nigga shit loose. <laughs> 
like, nigga, I know I ain't this shit. Bro, you got to respect this nigga. But the t- but I guess some people seen it or whatever. White people. They didn't like it. It wasn't no niggas. They yeah. lost. It was white people. This is, this, 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 I don't see any white people. They don't know, yeah. They're not allowed to say nigga. Like, it's, yeah, it was definitely some white people. It's like, all right, so the head coach of the football team – and two assistants from St. Augustine High School in New Orleans have been out after a video surface that showed one of the assistants leading a pregame chat that featured a racial slur. The video was taken on October 4th in a locker room before St. Augustine Purple Knights played the Brother Martin High School. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was, it was, that sounds like a Muslim Brother school, like, Martin it was, it was High School. Nigga school on nigga school. They, right. mas- they mascot a pilgrim. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's, they mask out a well dressed pimp. Uncle Ben. I mean, well dressed chicken pimp. <laughs> nigga, like Uncle Ben. Bro. <laughs> All right, so uh, the video was posted on social media where it's been seen by Kenneth A. St. Charles. St. Charles, the president and CEO of the historical black All Boys Catholic School. It's a black all boys Catholic school. Yeah, yeah. So it's all boys. So the so the principal, the black. I'm assuming it's a, if it's an all black. Uh, Catholic school, the pre- the president or whoever this got to be a nigga. So it's another nigga seeing this shit. And look like, oh, a hating ass color, that, a tom beard. ass nigga from Boondocks. Oh, this nigga, this nigga, a bitch. This is my day need they ass be Kenneth. First of all, he got a bitch ass nigga name. His name is Kenneth <laughs> A. Saint Charles. That like, sound like like what a fuck boy name is that? I just bro? pictured Tom from uh, Boondocks as soon as he said that. They try, I was trying to bring a black. Man I want to say so so bad, but it's so controversial. What is it, man? Like Catholics are weird. I didn't, I didn't even know it was no nigga Catholics. I ain't, I don't, like, I ain't never, never seen a nigga like, pope. I have never seen a nigga pope. Matter of fact, I got a lot of flack because I was like, you remember when the um, when Notre Dame mean, was on fire? Nigga, a nigga pope is funny. You remember when, I, you remember when the um, the castles were burning like Notre Dame yeah. Yeah. earlier this year? I was like, damn, they must have picked the black pope. And niggas was coming nah. at me about that shit, bro. Like, be, that smoke was That's coming hilarious. out. That's hilarious. Yeah, you can't joke like that. I did, though. Nigga, I, I ain't taking that back. I fuck with that joke, nigga. Oh yeah, the joke is hilarious. But I'm saying America, though, they try I mean, to get the that, world rather. When that church, when that shit burnt down, they tried to get that shit all kind of money. Yeah, and they ain't, they wasn't giving Flint no kind of money. So yeah. I don't give a fuck about that Catholic church or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't see how you could be behind something that every part of the organization is. Cr- you know, has shown corrupt. They got a fund where they setting up victims are getting touched by these priests. In every part of the organization, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's like get a our ritual. Like, though. hey, look, you want to ladder up? You want to step up? Get you a little boy. Let me see what, what? you can do. Like, I... They, pay, they paying them people hush money, bro. That's how it is at the end of the day. I want my hush money for being know, a slave. Man. Like I say, get that, 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 I don't know. That whole following. He ain't heard me give us our hush money. I'm tired of this shit. Tired of being broke. What, hush, what are you talking yeah, about? Reparation money, money, nigga. Oh, that's, that's pretty much how I'm hush this, money. You really want that reparation? Yeah, money. nigga. I'm, I'm but what, what, money. What, all right, so what would the uh, the hush part of it be? Like, we can't say shit again? Yeah, don't say shit about slavery again because people still think it don't exist. It didn't exist. All right, what if? All right, so what if they say we give you $20,000, but your credit score got to be a 520? That'd be so stupid. Like it wasn't, no, it wasn't no, it wasn't no credit in slavery time. Nigga, we think about that. We think about nah. Answer the question. Nah, I can't. That's do your it. reparation. I can't do it. You get a five. You get a five. Your credit score five twenty, but you get twenty thousand dollars. It would be some Caucasian it. ass shit. Twenty thousand dollars. That's one year of you working at like what eight seventy five an hour. Yeah, probably something like that. You know what I'm saying? You still have to work your job. So clearly, twenty thousand. I wouldn't even. Yeah. How long that twenty thousand gonna that. last you? Yeah, so hell, your average apartment costs you ten thousand a year to live. You know what I mean? So you break it down. Uh, Five twenty credit score gets you nowhere. Now, if they told do, me, bro, you can't do. You pretty much dead with a five twenty credit. Yeah, you can't rent shit. Told me, shit. If you they told get... me your your credit score was gonna be like, <clears throat> we gonna start you with a six eighty, mm. and you can build from there. You know what I'm saying? Like you decent. got. You can do something with six eighty. Yeah. I think six eighty is still good, right? Now yeah. I'm talking about I'm talking about starting credit, like oh. eighteen years old type shit. You know what I mean? Like think about it when you got a blank. Nigga, I'd be dead with a six eighty credit score at eighteen years old. I'd be Man, dead. What? I would have financed all kind of shit. I would have financed I've, coochie. Like I have loans. <laughs> I have financed coochie. Yeah. I, mean, I would have no hands. I mean, had no like fingers on my hands. Yeah. I would have got that shit chopped off. Bro. Yeah, probably about that. They've- a little slot of some more. Yeah, I remember when uh, uh, Martin got dipped in uh, Life 
under in the water. Oh yeah. That'd yeah. be me. Like <laughs> <laughs> Hey look, I promise I can pay you, but my first year having a credit card. Nigga, this your first year? <laughs> what the nigga, fuck? Nigga, you be dead. <laughs> Soon. <laughs> like nigga, you just bought a Jaguar with a credit card. <laughs> Got that's, me on credit card, bro. That's that's crazy, man. But um, yeah, man. Shout out to those coaches. They didn't say their name, but the coaches in the article. I guess they're trying to protect them or whatever. But that trip, daddy. The somebody chant, that, the chant was too crazy. I got two hands. I got two pants. Knock a nigga shit loose. That's real. Yeah. So shout out to them niggas. Oh, I gotta go back and play that shit, bro. One more time. One more time for the road, man. Two hands, two pads, knock a nigga shit loose. Knock a nigga shit loose. I got two hands, two pads. That's the old nigga. That's the old nigga. I got two hands, two pads, knock a nigga shit loose. Knock a nigga shit loose. White people would have been very afraid. Next time I come here flexing on Devin, that's what I'm saying. Knock a nigga shit loose. (laughs) I think you really want to get shot. Hey man, you gonna have to show me. Might have to. So let's do. Um, you still owe me that rock paper scissors. <laughs> I forgot all about that shit. We're not doing a three hour episode, so we're gonna do real niggas a week. If they need their ass beats, we'll get up out of here. We might give y'all three hour next week, but we're keeping it short, and we're keeping it short and precise this week, man. Y'all, y'all know about the, the whatever the niggas called the one niggas over there across the pond. You know about them. We talked about Ving Rhames. Shout out to Ving Rhames. Mm. What else we talk about? Oh, it's Jalen Ramsey, man. Come on, Jalen, man. You could have come on, bro. You could have stayed, bro. Though you we stayed. come, you should have found us some niggas, bro. Granted, I don't. <laughs> I mean, granted, to I don't think the end the of the road. This, this nigga really sang it, bro. Bro, I, I can't like. I can't let go. It's unnatural. They let that nigga go, bro. That nigga was unnatural. <laughs> Who was they singing about on that song? You know, that's a good Was they question. even singing about a dead person in that song? I don't even know anymore. Yeah, I think they just like made that just like the dead nigga. I thought song. it was like a song to a Disney soundtrack. Man, I'm You belong my dog. to me. I belong to you. I like so <laughs> they dead or not. Yeah, like he talking song, he talking to a bitch, ain't he? Yeah, like, I don't, you belong to me. Yeah, but was was she dead? Am I singing the right song? I was wondering. <laughs> like, that's that might be two song. different songs. I don't know. They, bro. All, they all mash together. I was like, let me find <laughs> that lyric in my head. I might just be mashing two songs together, bro. No, that isn't the same song. You belong to me. I belong to you. Oh. Oh, they're talking about breaking up, right? Yeah, I think that's what they yeah. was talking about. Yeah. Like, they're talking about relationship breaking but up. But it sounded like he didn't want to let go of the relationship. Yeah. And then, it's like, like people just, shit. like, okay, I'm just about to pour out champagne. All I know is right now, I'm pouring out my emotions, you know what I'm saying? That nigga Jalen, you know, he gone, he got what he wanted. He up out of Duval County. <clears throat> that nigga probably talking shit about our crabs right now. Hey, man, all them, all them special clubs that he be going to, <laughs> get ready. He coming. Enough. He coming, Paul. <laughs> All right, sending real niggas a he week. He said it like you knew. And it they need to ask me to send us up. Mail at RAOPodcast.com. That's mail at RAOPodcast.com. So I guess I do my real nigga of the week. I got two of them. Okay. First one, I got Seti Hendrix, man. He just dropped an uh, amazing yeah. album. Shout out he's to from, him. He's from Jacksonville. He's from Duval. Shout out to Seti Hendrix. Kind of. This may be a hot take, bro. That might be one of the hardest projects I've heard from a Duval nigga. In a long time. I can definitely respect that statement. Yeah, so yeah, shout out to So check out his album. I, I, ain't, I ain't taking that away at check all. Check out his album, Seti Hendrix, Roots 2. That's on all the, all the streaming platforms, man. Go check that out. Um, number two, uh, Real Nigga of the Week is Candyman. So me and De- me and Devin did a, a watch along the Candyman, and <laughs> that nigga ruined that white woman life in that movie. He bro. did, bro. I got Candyman or real nigga week for successfully I've ruining a white woman movie. movie. I mean, a white woman life, bro. Never seen that. I ain't gonna spoil it, man. But that nigga, that nigga was going in on her. Bro. I might have to make that my watch. Every tonight. every movie, I mean every um every move she make, that nigga was watching her, bro. She went to his hood, bro. Was scaring people. Yeah, she was in that nigga apartment, bro. Oh. I don't know why Candyman had an apartment. Either. That nigga's using EBT. Cards. No way that nigga Candy. No way that nigga Candyman was paying rent, bro. That nigga was eating. Candyman, he didn't need EBT. He was eating bees. 
in candy. Mm. <laughs> I didn't know Candyman was actually eating candy. I just yeah. thought they was just named that nigga that. What if he wasn't even really scared? I thought he was he just candy. had diabetes because he did lose a hand, so that was from diabetes. <laughs> yeah, he probably he did. He had candy diabetes. all the goddamn time. He was having a sugar, a sugar shot. Yeah. Clearly, I need to watch Nigga, this. when he flew out that window, <laughs> I lost it. That was ridiculous. Worst CGI ever I've seen it. I don't even know why he flew out like that. You know how you throw somebody out of the window? That's how he flew out the window. I think it's yeah, man. <laughs> hey, you can see the ropes pulling it. <laughs> Terrible CGI. I know it was a black man, but y'all can't that. That sounded like one of them Michael J. Whites. Uh, it was, Michael J. Whites. It was so. pretty bad, mm-hmm. man. But um, I think I go it. check that out. Patreon.com okay. slash REO Podcast. We did a watch along on that. We did. We recorded uh, Sleepaway Camp. Oh, my awesome. God. Yeah, that's horrible. That shit look bad, man. Who's y'all real niggas of the week? Uh, mine is, uh, I, I, I didn't get this nigga name, unfortunately. But it's courtesy of this nigga Devin, actually. Um, I seen a nigga wrestling a bull. And I just got to say, like, that's unbelievable. Like, hey, if I had that kind of strength, I mean, I do. I must. You seen the way I was tossing Devin ass. Who had a bull, bitch? (laughs) What are you talking about? (laughs) Pause, nigga. That ain't even... You got any real niggas of the week? Yeah, I, uh, Random Acts Podcast fans, bro. And all, oh, all the new subscribers to the uh, Patreon, too. <laughs> y'all my real niggas of the week, bro. Yeah, shout out to y'all, Respect. man. Respect. Respect. And shout out to Future for still saying that that baby ain't here is a file on a lawsuit against his baby mama. <laughs> 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 just, just say that the baby ain't here, that bitch lying about the baby. Oh, man. Shout out to I don't Future. know if I can shout that one out, but I do want to shout, like, I'm going to throw it back and shout out the nigga that, uh, you remember that nigga that, Got his shit on a placard like it, it was like a thirty six by seventy two. Oh, the paternity test yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah bro, like, that I'm was fucking father. <laughs> I would be that petty, bro. I would that be that fucking petty. Extremely though. petty. That was crazy. You know how long it take to get one of them shits made? Cause see, that's like a deterrent <laughs> for your new hoes. You know what I mean? Right. Saying? I don't. Like, know. It's like that's like passing an age test. Like you gotta show that you straight, bro. I don't care enough to do some shit like that. Like, Why? Yeah, 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 nah, like, nah. Have a kid on the way, nigga. That's too much work. You you change. Have a kid on the way that's not yours. You change. You a bitch ass nigga when you got a kid on the way. That sounds corny <laughs> to me. Yeah. I'm sorry. That just sounds corny to me. You can't have a kid. No, you gonna put up a paternity test on like a placard? Nigga? Yeah. Who care? I don't care enough that much to yeah, do shit like nah, that. You should. Because it's hilarious. Do seeing the text, I don't like, care that. Hey, y'all, it ain't mine. <laughs> yeah, I don't care that much about getting payback on somebody to do some shit like that. I mean, it's just a soft ass. I'm just. Nigga. Just, no, I'm just, just cuss the white bitch out. No, I'm just saying I don't. I don't <laughs> Who was I that? Just, this that dick was more. Affecting that, the money. that was more vented. Yeah. It's affecting the money. So it's child support, nigga. Child support affect the money. Shit. Nah, that's nah. If I was just, like pull up on camera and I had a t-shirt with her face on it, then like that'd be on the realms of what he did. I would hope you wouldn't have a picture of t- exactly. like, like if she ugly, and I hope I wouldn't put a oh. paternity test was on on a plaque. You got an baby. ugly baby mom, bro. Don't put her on a t-shirt, please. Bro, what are you doing? I'm trying to read this. Uh... Oh, okay. I'm about to. I'm about to get to it. They need oh, okay. their ass beats. Oh, <laughs> I was going to do the they need their ass beats. So I got yes, Jules. Speaking of a white woman, I got yes, Jules. I thought the internet got her out of. Here. Bro, she keep coming back. How the fuck? She say. she disappeared like every three months. They cancel her like every other day. She just keep coming back like a goddamn roach. <laughs> so yes, Jules. She hopped on Twitter, and she. Tw- I thought DJ Academics got her out of here the other day. I thought so too. He made that tilt before. I think low-key, he want to smash her. Low-key, he's yeah, like the type of nigga say, that he's, would. He's, he's tried to uh, get out of there before. But he's corny, though. He tweeted that. He, like, tweeted a long tweet, and then he's, like, in the middle of it. He's like, I I live for drama. First of all, you're a grown man telling you, you live for drama, bro. Don't he get punked, like, all the time? All the time. But he had he had smoke for her. <laughs> oh, he only got smoke for women. All right, so, um, yes, Jules, she tweets, my dad... Hasn't worked in 10 years. I took a lift ride a few days ago, and it was a mom driving, dad in the passenger seat, and a kid in the third row sleeping. This was t- at 2 a.m. on a Thursday. I got home and told my dad, <laughs> in 2019, there's no more excuses. I'm signing you up for Lyft. They they approved him today. At, uh, <coughs> hold on. Why she ain't got no car? What? Don't listen to this. Bro, come on, bro. Say, why she ain't got no car? <laughs> <laughs> Don't repeat yourself. She can't ride lift, nigga? 
Nah, I don't know. She might be out of town. I don't mind. He claims she don't fuck. She shall, but. It has nothing to do She might be out of town. Not taking a lift to her dad. All right. Uh, somebody replied, "Can't support." He, some, somebody replied, her, "Can't support your dad." She replies, "No, I can't. It's been a decade of me support my family, and they are perfectly healthy and able to do it <laughs> themselves. Point of getting rich so your family don't gotta struggle." And I agree with him. When you get the money, bro, you're supposed to, like, take care of your family. That's, like, the ultimate goal to be have so much Shit, money. Shit, they took care of your ass. You yeah, know what I'm saying? That's the ultimate goal to be so, you have so much money in the bank where your parents ain't got to work no more. Imagine you, your, your your daughter been supporting you 10 years financially, and you taking a nap, and she like, hey, hey, get your ass up, nigga. Hey, sign up for Lyft. Your ass, <laughs> you driving tomorrow, nigga. You ain't worked in 10 years. 10 years. She been, she been, did she wait to the 10th year to be like, all right, fuck this nigga? And I'm, under, like, I'm not understanding. She been 10 years? She's been around for what? Six years? Yeah. Five years? You know what I mean? Over? You know what I mean? Like. Okay, so. She act like she came across an invention. Yeah, she said lift. <laughs> oh, shit. It, In 2019, hey, there ain't no excuses. Out of all the times she been on lift, that shit, just, it just got to her. She seen that kid sleep. Like, that could have been another passenger or something like that. Hey, she she done missed out on all kinds she of thinking, driver bonuses. <laughs> yeah. Little reward perks and shit, you know? That's crazy. Wake your dad. Hey, nigga, no more free rides. Wake your ass up. That's crazy, man. Your Jews is insane. Yeah, that's uh, why. Yeah. She you saw, was, you saw her when was in Miami when she, like, yeah. that's another thing. covering people's songs. That's another thing. She lives in Miami. <laughs> Her pop's probably gonna get robbed. Oh shit! Yeah, I, even, I forgot that. I forgot. My bad. I apologize to her pop because like, that. yeah, that's a bad. Out idea. of all them niggas, she fucked. She couldn't get him a corporate job with Adidas or something. A lot of Miami she, Heat players, she fucked. She saw some wrong. He should be riding. A, like, she could get that nigga the job at the Heat Stadium. She be riding a Phantom, bro. Lift. At least a Phantom. That's crazy, nah, maybe man. a Honda. But um, my next one is um the singer. Her name is Tina Shay. It, it is Tina Shay. Tanache. Uh, Tanache. Tanache. Yeah. Toilet so, shade. I she, saw I take a picture of like licking a toilet one time. Yeah, I, I forgot that. I don't fucking. She's what? my. She's my second thing need to ask me. She's like a porn star. What? She's. I she didn't, she need to be a porn star. The, no, no. Tanache. No, I'm not. This really she, pictures. She sings, but she takes wild pictures. Yeah, she got that one picture of her grabbing Trump 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 that's, and then, that's like, and then that picture wow. I'm talking about, she had like a manager toilet licking it. I'm like, what type of modeling she got, shit? She has terrible management. Is this supposed to? Yeah, <laughs> this is poor. Her manager, he on a donut shop too. That's like me telling, hey Joe, man, ride this horse butt ass thing. <laughs> <laughs> and brother, the bitch is gonna love it, bro. Yeah, bro. Bitches love horses. Bitches love, bitches love men. Bitches love niggas ain't horses, bro. Yeah, love Joe, this shit. Fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna have the tombstone this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Ride this horse butt ass nigga, nigga. And do it for the bitches, bro. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> oh, get the fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah, sometimes you gotta say That's no, crazy, bro. Like, yeah. how do you hey? It, it'd be really hot if you lick this miniature dirty. I just dirty want you to lick all around the rim of it. <laughs> lick this. I was dirty like, what? Toilet. I was like, what was the concept and planning for this? Like, <laughs> bitch, I want the bitch to lick a toilet. Like, that's pretty much it. All right, but uh, all right. So she dropped this atrocious <clears throat> flyer. To I guess she doing a show. Like y'all see how terrible this flyer looks. It's like somebody did like this looks comic like two thousand two. <laughs> Ooh, well, she got to stop paying these it people. Like somebody. Did this shit in like Microsoft Paint, bro. The flyer looks terrible, bro. Yeah. I would not go to a show because, like, I would think if I go to the show, my head about to get chopped off or something like yeah, this. Yeah, so, it's like some hostile shit. Yeah, I'm about to say it's like some hostile shit. Like, you're going to die once you step foot in this motherfucker. But anyway, she. It's uh, one of them shows where the performer is also selling pussy at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of show, show is this, Joe? Now, look, that's why I was in UK. Is so in I've France? seen on TV. You know what Wait, I'm saying? What TV channel was this, though? I didn't hey, see this. I need to be at this didn't show. Didn't show. know this, bro. You know I mean? Imagine like, going to an hey, Ari Lennox see, concert. Matter of fact, I piece, seen a video. I seen a clip. Right. It was a bitch. She was singing, and no bullshit. Niggas was shoving dollars like in her pussy. Like, I was like, all right. That was Cardi B. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> now let's move on. <laughs> All right, so she dropped this terrible artwork. So people was un- people was like replying and saying like, "Here you go," and like people was like redoing posters for her and whatnot. Right. The fans was, was helping her out. 
So this bitch, she comes on the next day. She, I guess she got another listening party show. Oh. She hops on Twitter and say, okay, Twitter, since y'all are so amazing at graphics, here's the info to the next flyer. And she proceeds to drop the info to the next flyer. <laughs> and this is why she might they need to ask me if y'all are going in. <laughs> First of all, this this art this flyer, the flyer is, terrib- is, is, is terrible. Enough. Second of all, you know your flyer is terrible, so you come back to Twitter the next day asking and be like for free asking for free shit. <laughs> no bitch. Go to one of them people that made Dang. a dope flyer the first time and DM them and pay them their money. Right. Don't get no more free free flyer, bro. Don't take advantage of And then fans. not just that, yeah. Build with that person. Like give them shine. Allow yeah. them that opportunity to say, like, yeah. yo, I did a couple flyers for Tanache and <laughs> the toilet bullshit. You know? T- toilet bullshit, that's funny. <laughs> um But yeah. I outside of that, I mean, I don't think that like you say, she, she her management is poor, but that's one of those things to where it's like She's never had to work with a graphic designer personally. Yeah. You know what I mean? You could tell that she's never had to um, build or network. You know what I mean? Yeah. Somebody was always doing that for her. Like, hey, you got a pretty face. I can put you in position. Yeah. And the fact that she's just taking advantage, like, hey, give me more free shit after I fucked up the first time. So, I don't know. She need my day. She my day need to ask me. I got more. I got a ton of things. A lot of people need their ass beat. Actually, this is the last one. Fake mm. ass motivational speakers on Instagram. These people are fucking corny as fuck. Horribly. I'm gonna play a clip from this one I've seen the other day on Twitter, bro. These like, what are you talking about, bro? The reason why anybody should leave here without making about twenty dollars. Do you ever see a crackhead say, I'm not using drugs today because I'm broke, drug dealer? No. They find a way. They find a way. So you let a crackhead out-hustle you to death. Yeah. For real. They did right So if you tell me you made no money today, you a fool. Because if you walk out of here or walk home and you did not make money, it's your fault. It's hard to say something like that, but it really is a reflection of your discipline. Why does she like, talk how, like that? You have to remember, drugs is their discipline because... They're addicts, but how addicted will you be to your generation of wealth? Damn. And that's something you really have to ask how serious Damn. you are with yourself. That's you feel me? Deep. And that. <laughs> what the fuck is she talking about? She literally not talking about nothing. Bro. <laughs> I mean, why? I got it. Here's how you know she ain't talking what about nothing. Finish about, it. Man. Finish it. Oh, oh. Well, it, it, was, end, it, yeah, was, yeah. it was. It was. It was done. It, well, it was she says. Life. She says. Never mind. I ain't even gonna finish. Like yeah. of your discipline. Like how you have to remember, drugs is their discipline because. They're addicts, but how addicted will you be to your generation of wealth? Damn. And that's something you really have to ask how serious you are with yourself. You feel me? Jesus. And that. <laughs> that's the truth. I ain't gonna let you fly by it. Like, that was, that was bad. Who the fuck are these people? She's like, thank you for helping me out because I was about to talk. Like you know, minutes. you know, you never slap a Dalmatian unless you had to slap a Dalmatian. But when you want to make money with the Dalmatian. All right, so here's what I gather from that. You know what I'm saying? Because I was inspired. You know what I mean? Really? And if I leave from out of here tonight, you know, and I don't make $20, <laughs> you know, it's a problem. So, hey. Nigga, jump in. Nigga, get off my shirt. Give me tea. And give me tea. What's wrong with you? Oh, you can live. That's the only way you can live. Are they in a cult? I was also inspired. Right. I just know how to make money. Hey, I was also inspired. I was also inspired. Right. I just know, hey. <laughs> If I don't get $20, I'm going to suck some dick to get that money like a crackhead. That's what she said. A crackhead. He is wild. <laughs> that Jalen Ramsey ain't left. <laughs> she said like a crackhead, bro. That's what that is. See, see he I don't said, think all crackheads suck dick. Said, that, uh, I don't think all. Is I that, think Jalen Ramsey signed his water bottle. Yeah. <laughs> has, has anybody ever really... Prove that crackheads be sucking dick for crack. Hey, like, yeah. you, was, seen, you seen you seen don't be a menace. I mean, menace aside, I, have, I have hey, don't seen be, that. Wow. You seen what bro did? <laughs> I so got these, really, so I really, these cheeseburgers. So Lorenz Taylor did kill that nigga. Factual proof. I got these cheeseburgers. Man. He said hustle like you know how insane you gotta be to tell somebody to hustle like a crackhead. Like, like stop them it. niggas Shut were up. robbing their family. Shut up, bro. Like, <laughs> Samuel Jackson got shot because he was a crackhead. If you don't, if right. you don't, if, and shot in real life, over oh, real, he, he got, was a crackhead. He was a crackhead. Yeah, he was a crackhead. 
Now nah, that's not really gonna get yeah, down. They'll believe that. You only leave with twenty dollars out here. You ain't hustling. They like probably got. They probably got a big picture of Samuel Jackson. Crackhead steal. What are you talking about? Like, you gotta steal that twenty dollars. <laughs> Suck that dick. I guess. I don't <laughs> Before yeah, you still leave. that Sega Genesis. This is like this is supposed to be an R. Kelly code. Fast forward. Is it more? This, 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 this is how this is how R. Kelly get them hoes sucked in this little code. Hold up. Let me read the comment. I mean the uh, description. You better tag someone to watch this. No <laughs> excuses. This video was from the Q and A. Of the Christian entrepreneur workshop. That's so exactly. You mean, that's exactly Christian why I, I expect some of those shit like that. But nah, no, 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 not at all. Like these niggas look like he looked like a DJ that went down <laughs> mix some bullshit in the middle of the club. He look like he sexually assault women. Yeah, he, he <laughs> they do. Look like that's that. deep, sis. Hey, let me try them cheeks up. <laughs> He be like, that's deep sis. Come in, sis. Come in, sis. Give me that hug. Give me that hug when you shake it. Like, that's nah, he's one of them ones. He's going to wrestle her down. Oh, we just playing. Her. 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 I just don't. She sound like Michelle L.A. What's she that? Do. Oh, oh I, like, I, 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 I see what she's but, um, saying. Oh, shit. What the fuck? This shit stopped recording. Oh, the memory card filled up. Damn. I got to get the camera. I got to get the audio off the camera. Cool. All right. Um. Yeah. Like the memory card filled up. I don't know. Let me see if I can. We keep going. What's y'all um, they need to ask me? So what, uh, uh, I only got one this week. Anybody yeah. want to ask who that is? Yeah, keep, I'm going to get the audio off the camera, so keep talking. You want to ask who that is? No. Who? I understand. It's Devin. What do I do now? That's everybody. You got to stand in line, bro. Nah, nigga, I mean, like, my goal is to whoop your ass week in and week out. Really until or like, die trying. Or die doing it, nigga. That doesn't even... Okay. <clears throat> right. That's it. Pretty much. Okay, cool. Beat your ass. That's, That's cool. cool. That's cool. Catch. Gotcha. Call the cops. Uh. Damn, I had one. Who's mine? Nah, I got a day need day ass beat. So, <laughs> I go out to this restaurant the other day, and, um, you know, I'm eating pretty good. Um, my meal is twenty dollars twenty six cent. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't have like nothing else. I paid a forty dollars. And I'm thinking in my head, like, just off the strength of me eating out, you you you're gonna get a tip. You know what I mean? But it's a white woman, and the whole time she's talking to me with like the black tone and. Like cutting off the endings of her words and this and that, and I'm like, I right, look, <clears throat> I ain't come here to be acting like a fucking coon, you know what I mean? And I damn sure don't expect you to be acting like one, you know, for me, you know? Yeah. Um. So at the end of the night, she asked us, like, she asked me in the middle of the uh thing, yo, do you want some more tea? I'm like, yeah. She waits until I'm about to leave to <laughs> refill it. All right, that's your, that, you know, that, 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 that sets you back, you know what I mean? That's one thing. The, the, like I say, the talking was another. The third thing that pissed me off, like I said, I had her $40. It's $20.26. 40 ball. She, at, she waves it in the air and says, we good? We good with this? You straight? Like, bitch, hell no. <laughs> you knew you gave me some shitty service. I should leave your ass a dollar and write on that. The do's and don'ts of them waitressing. I was so fucking upset. I should have just poured the tea out right at my feet. Well, you need to ask me for drinking tea, though. Tea trash, whatever. Nah, I can't agree with that, bro. You ever had public tea? Tea garbage, tea garbage, right? You ever had public tea? No, it's tea garbage. I don't like tea. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if y'all ain't had that public tea, don't have tea. I heard it got crack in it. It do. Shit, I'm Shit, a, like, I know they, I know they, I'm, yeah, I was I'm just about to say, you know, know what I'm saying, lim- like, I know they eliminate got crack in it, bro. Nah, that tea, that tea change your life, bro. I 
can't fuck with T, bro. Hey, look, folks be talking about damn Chick Fil A shit. <clears throat> I be like, nah, nah, nah. I don't, I don't care how many times Chick Fil A blessed they tea. It still ain't touching <laughs> Publix. Oh man, but um, I got some other they need their ass beats, but the damn recorder went off, and we just gonna use the camera audio. So sorry if the audio changes a little bit. I gotta kind of like do some magic. So like, I can't even play the rest of these videos because like it got like the sound hooked up to the recorder. But uh, so I'm gonna do like I'm gonna save y'all they need their ass beats for next week. So. I got one though that we can do on camera that can be, get picked up from the camera audio. This was from Ali. He said this man needs his ass beat. Man walks 351 miles to have sex with a teen girl. Mm -hmm. Instead, he met an undercover cop. That's crazy. So bro. you tired and you getting your ass beat? Yeah, they, they should. Wait, he walked how many? 351 miles. You, you, That's you days. Do, you're doing some stupid shit that, <sighs> that is crazy. fucking morally. Wrong. Yeah. Fucking disgusting. I'm just gonna say this. The cops shoot the wrong niggas. Yeah. Well, well he ain't a nigga, he's a white man. They were shooting the wrong people. The wrong people are out here getting shot, man. And that shit crazy, man. Like, on some G shit, I mean, honestly speaking, like, that's something that is truly, 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 truly disturbing. You know what I mean? It's it's something that's it makes you scared to have, you know, girls to raise, you know yeah. what I mean? It makes you scared to see younger girls, you know what I mean? Like, hell, I'll be honest to say, it makes me uncomfortable certain times, you know what I mean, to be in situations that could be misconstrued because of other people's actions, you know what yeah. I mean? So, I just say it to say, like, and, and and of course, you know, I don't ever put myself in nothing, you know what I mean, that that could be taken the wrong way, but I'm very conscientious of things like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I say it to say, people doing shit like that, it makes no sense to me. One thing I firmly believe is there's somebody for everybody, you know? Mm. I truly wholeheartedly believe that, yo, if you like to damn lick between a broad toes and you know what I'm saying? Do whatever. It's somebody that love that shit. You just gotta spend a little more time finding them. But y'all spend all this time doing weird shit. Like it just doesn't make no sense to me. That's one thing I never understand. But yeah. when you ain't getting no pussy, your mindset has changed. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, just fuck that nigga, man. We out, man. Once again, sorry, you know, we had a sudden audio change. I was, I just looked down and that bit would stop recording, man. But hey, shout out, y'all. You got anything on your plug? Yeah, follow your boy at it's Mr. Jefferson. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm at you here and there. Y'all can see me posting the um video of me uh putting Devin in the torture rack. Yeah. Every hour on the hour throughout the week. Anything you want to say? Joe, a bitch. But anyway, <laughs> Da Vinci's Demon, episode five is up. Four. Four is up. Four? Episode four is up. Don't get ahead of yourself. Uh, I'm already thinking about five. Because I'm a light poem. But yeah, episode four is up now. You on might be a dick, dick. Random Action Podcast, uh, Random Action Studios page. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Devin Da Vinci. For the content. And for the corner. Hey, fuck that white bitch and we are.